Hey guys, I'm sorry. We're just coming on. We're trying to. All right, y'all. We getting there. We getting yeah, there. Yeah, we trying to get there. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. Texas gang. What's up, Texas? In Happy the house. Friday. What's up? What's up, guys? Howdy. What's up, everybody? Ralph, I wanted to mention how you started off with working on trees, and it amazed me how you built up to this point. Congrats. Hey, Melly. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, I go to work you know, and climbing trees. Sarah, I tell you, take down some major trees, 10, 12 hours a day. Uh, Cause that's what I was doing to feed the family. So I would do that 10, 12 hours a day and then come home in the evening time, y'all, and practice cakes or, or if not, sure, uh, pastries or something like that. It was in the very beginning and then moving towards more, you know, a lot of food as well. But yeah, that's how it all started. Thank you so much, though. Thank you, guys. Appreciate um, you. Love your cooking. Um, hey guys, this is Anthony from the Army. Just wanted you to know that we pass all your videos to the soldiers over here. And Thank we appreciate you, so you Anthony. Thank you. We appreciate your service, man. Yeah, Thank you. Thanks. I tried your peach cobbler recipe, young. All right, now. Ralph, when are you going to ever start a restaurant? Yeah, we're going to see, y'all. That's a bit expensive for Ralph, man. That's a lot of loot right there. Yeah. Um, can we get a hoot out for Sunday? Who that, baby? You know we're going to take them down. You know, I'm hoping we go all the way. I'm believing this time. Yeah. Uh, yo, what's up, Ralph? Keep up the good work, man. You're the best. I really, really love your cooking. And by the way, Ralph, I ate the steak with the W sauce. <laughs> all right. I appreciate you. That's awesome. Say W sauce, I'm serious, man. Y'all know I was looking at how that W sauce, somebody that follows me showed me or sent me a video on how that W sauce was made, man. It's quite interesting. If you go look it up on YouTube, it's like sardines. That sit in the barrels for a few years. And then onion. Fish is your sauce? For real? And then onions set in a separate barrel. And then they mix it together? Why are you going to tell me that? You just ruined W sauce for no, me. That's all good. <laughs> um, I just tuned in. What's up, y'all? We just what's jumping up? on. We just uh, in. Shirley asks, Sarah Lou, what's in your cup? Girl, you already know what's in my cup. Sarah drinking White Claw. You know I got the White Claw on deck. When are you guys coming to New York? Man, I'm trying to get to New York. I sure would love to go to New York. I tell you Somebody, that. Somebody, please take this boy to New York, please. Trying to, I'm trying to get down to New York, hopefully soon, man. <laughs> she said, why in a cup? Because there's restrictions with alcohol beverages being shown in the live, in the live stream. <laughs> so, we figured, like, you can drink it, but, like, you know, advertising alcohol is an issue. Yes. $5 from, I don't know what I'm saying, for the restaurant fun, you guys are so awesome. Ralph, I watch you every day and it keeps me smiling. Thank you so much. That's awesome. And thank, thank you so you. much. I appreciate the gift. Thank you. Love your videos. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. Accents are the best. And thank y'all. We appreciate you. So what's, what's everybody up to tonight on this Friday? It's big old Friday night. What you drinking, Ralph? I'm drinking tequila. I drink Jose Cuervo and water, y'all. Uh, it's a little brown. Not too brown. A little brown. I just drink some Jose on ice and water. Sarah drinks white claw. Yes. She babysits more than drinks, but we'll call it drinks. Here comes Ralph. Peer pressure. Right. Uh, did you ever think you'd get this big? Still growing too? Uh, no, I really didn't, y'all. Uh, it all started on TikTok. Uh, in the very beginning, it started on TikTok where I posted a video. Because actually, y'all, like a while back, I had went viral on making cocoa bombs. Now everybody sells them, but back when I made it, Everybody didn't make them and know how to make them, so I showed people how to make them, and I went viral from there, and I went viral on Twitter, but then TikTok took off, and that's how I got like almost 300,000 followers there, but kind of moving off of TikTok, it's kind of not the best platform, but no, I never thought I got this big, especially on YouTube. Come on, really? Do you have merch? I do. It's in my YouTube store. Check it out. We got the sticker butter, everything up there. We got it all up there, y'all. Where's that merch Happy Tequila Friday. All right, yeah. now, Nate. You What's see up from Homer? What's up, Homer in the house? What's going on? 
What's up, everybody? Water, water, or tonic and sparkling or something like that? It's water, water, like this water. <laughs> Regular water. Yeah. You know what? I do got a lemon. I wonder how a lemon will be with this. Let me investigate. Probably good. Let's see. I got a I'm sitting back drinking on some beer. Right, Gotta go huh? by. I hope you go live again on Friday. Thank you, Hannah. Appreciate you coming uh, in. Wonderful family. Blessings to you guys. Keep it going. Let's see what happens with a lemon, y'all. Since y'all baking the seafood, do you like Mexican, how do you say it? Ceviche? Ceviche? Have we had that before? I got a recipe and I'd like to share. Please share. Yeah. I don't know if we've ever had that before. I'd love to try it, definitely. Ralph you know. loves one of his favorite foods is Mexican food. Announcement. Uh, even Shirley said right. announcement. I don't know any more than the general public. Please don't stalk me. <laughs> What she talking about? She had some stalkers uh, from oh. some peoples. Hey, Ralph, make cereal. Cereal? Cereal, bruh. Yeah, that's a good idea. Add that drink just to kill them. Yeah, like after you. Yeah, that is a good, like, a bad idea. A Thank good you. like drunk food after. Uh, where is everybody from? So we are have both been born and raised in New Orleans, Metairie, Kenner area of Louisiana our whole lives. That ain't half bad, but it ain't too good either. It ain't too good. Bullshit. It's kept how it was. So that's why you don't you don't fix something if it ain't broke, right? Yep. I need what you guys have. What we got, Tiffany? I need to ask water. Metairie right ain't too good. Yeah, we know. Shut up, Shirley. Who's your favorite player on the Saints team, Ben? I didn't know he was going to say Drew Brees. Yeah, I guess I stick with, with Brees while he's here before, we get, before he goes. Ralph, can you do a tomahawk steak video? It'd be awesome. I did that. I did a big old five pounder on the grill. Check it out. Yeah, that tomahawk steak, man. I think it was serious. That was Jacqueline good. said, what's your favorite slot to play? Jacqueline, we was actually playing slots today. Uh, I like to play sizzling sevens, to be honest with you, but they don't never sizzle for me, okay? Tell y'all a story. One time, I was broke. <laughs> I ain't had no money, man, back in these days. I'm a blackjack player, to tell you the truth. Sorry, I tell you, I play 50, 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 600 a hand. Uh, I either win or lose real, real quick on blackjack, okay? If I win, I take them down for 30000 an hour. If I lose, I could lose 2000 an hour, but I don't do that no more, but I used to, huh? But remember, yeah. I, knocked them, I knocked them off for 30000 one time. And uh, anyway, I was leaving. I think I probably lost that day. I probably had about a good 15, 20 bucks left or something like that. I was at the treasure chest. I was playing one credit on the Sizzling 7 machine, man. And boom, I hit all three Sizzling 7s and nothing happened. I was like, damn, man, the machine broke or what? It's a $1,000 jackpot right here. Well, I learned that day. You got to be playing all three credits and you don't win it, bro. So like max credits, you mean? Like that's you have to be playing is? all three max credits so you don't win the jackpot. Bro, you must have been disgusted, huh? I kicked the machine, bro. Walked up. <laughs> I did a smooth kick, though, bro. I ain't do no crazy kick, bro. But I, I was disgusted, bro. You want to know what happened? that machine? Why you always kick stuff when you mad? Not a serious kick because I ain't going to go to jail, bro. Like a little simple kick. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Love uh, y'all. Got to go. See y'all later. Hey, we appreciate you. you coming in. That, sand, that put boy sandwich you posted today was weak from Mother's, that roast beef. Bro, Mother's disappointed me, man. Mother's really, I, I think that might be the first bad review. Is that I think of? No, Shortstop was a bad oh, review. Oh, man, I ain't put Shortstop up here. I did on TikTok, but I ain't do it here. Raggedy machine. <laughs> uh, raggedy, bro, for real raggedy. Let's see, someone asked if you could do Wagyu or is it too pricey? Well, I go, yeah, ain't nothing too pricey for all the baby. Just let my let my little check come through. Hold up now. Let my, uh, you better wait for a check to come through by that thing. Let my EBT get reloaded first. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you so I'm playing. I'm just playing. No, Thank I'm, you, Melly. I'm going to do one. And we're going to see what it is. We're going to see what it is, okay? Danny said fire out. What's up? Melly, I appreciate you. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to try that steak, bro. <laughs> they said I know that's right. <laughs> Right Let me now. get my thank reload, you. man. You Let see Melly sitting over five? Melly, thank you. And Frank, I appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate the plug. I'm new to New Orleans cuisine. You're on point. That's All right, right Juan. 
Hey, I, I just tell the truth, man. I can't go there and lie. If the restaurant's good, I always hope that they're good. But look, a lot of times you got restaurants down there in New Orleans and, and it's tourist restaurants. And, and if you're a tourist and maybe you don't have the best food where you're at or maybe, you know what I'm saying, something like that, you're not used to poor boys. It ain't mm -hmm. something you get every day. So when you get it, you're like, damn, that's good. But it's really not that good. Because then you go down to like a regular store. I'm, I'm going to show you all a store. Me and this fool right here, we got us a roast beef poor boy. A shrimp pool boy, and we got a hot sausage patty pool boy, man. And large fries. And a large fry, bro. Man, we, we, we tore it up, man. We tore it up. We you tore it. Ridiculous. And we got all that cheaper than we did a pool boy and that, and that bread pudding that mother. And it was a hundred <laughs> times better, man. They said so cute to get a lot EBT reload. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna reload me, man. As soon as they reload me, we're gonna get back cooking again, bro. We we on shut down right now. I'm just playing with y'all, man. I'm a good plan. Ooh, Shirley said a burger place out here sells Wagyu burgers. I'm tempted to try them out. Well, who, who is it, Shirley? Right. I have to try them out and see what it is. That's boudin balls. Didn't we do some boudin balls? I thought I did boudin balls. No. Yeah. I mean, you showed them how to fry them up, but they were like a pre-made that we got oh, from Bill's. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, we're going to do some boudin balls. Uh -huh. I love some good old fried boudin No, I'm lying. You did make boudin balls. I thought I did. You homemade boudin balls. <laughs> yeah. You did. Right, we made some, some boudin balls. Check that video out. It's up there for you. How much a burger, though, Shirley? For $7. real, Angie, that's What's what up? I'm saying. Shirley trying to send us over that eighty-two dollars a burger, man. If they don't take EBT, it's just a dead issue. Man. Jacqueline said one billion TikTok subscribers will pay for one Wagyu burger. <laughs> Bro, I was showing a friend the other day, man. Y'all know what? I get like between five and eight million views on TikTok a month on average. Bro, I made I made a grand whopping thirty-five cents the other day. <laughs> thirty-five large, y'all cents. Make some cracklings. Ralph did cracklings. Oh, thank you, Crackling. Zach. He said over 20. Is that thank that you. crawfish dip, man. My family has loved every recipe That's I've awesome. made from you. Thank you again for changing the way I cook much left from Ohio. Yeah, I appreciate you, Zach. Thank you so much. That's just that's awesome. That's what it's all about. Everybody learning, man, and just so many different ways. You know, I want to learn how to cook some good Mexican food, man. And I'm still waiting for you to try to make those uh Baristas, what I had. Yeah, burrito, burrito tacos. I'm gonna try it, y'all. I wanna I'm dip it. it. I'm gonna try it. Man. Oh, looks so we'll good. Still sent over five dollars. Thank you, Still McFly. I don't need to go to Popeyes now for a good chicken sandwich. Yeah, Still McFly. Yeah, you're right. I promise you, they better than Popeyes. It was man. bomb. Those things are good. You should make waffles. Ooh. Do you like McDonald's or Burger King better? That's a good question. McDonald's. Burger King out here, bro, is terrible. That is one of the worst. I mean, McDonald's sucks too, but yeah, they go, they went way downhill. And that's another thing, you know. Look, the restaurants y'all don't have to be perfect. I get it. If I own the restaurant, maybe everything I sell is not gonna be perfect. But freaking, it's like, bro, these big restaurants y'all that 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 tourists gonna come see, and you just know mothers, and you just know. Uh, Shit's name. Where the tour guides and the mat and they the send you to these places yeah. and it says, all right, go here, go there for the best this and the best. But it's not true anymore. Yeah. It used to be true, but like somebody said in one of the comments I was reading, I couldn't agree more. They died off like in the nineties, man. You're in twenty twenty one, man. You gotta you you know if you let your business die off, that's on you, man. You gotta be selling. You gotta put that same energy you've been putting it in for the last hundred years now too. Man. You can't expect that business to continue. That's right. Uh, Melly said I can't even make burrito tacos and I'm Mexican. Ah, uh, I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Don't worry, calm down. I got you on this. No, I wanna try. Oh, I want them so bad. Be good. Dude, what's up, real. man? You remind me of my cousin so much. That's awesome. Do you have any weird food combos that you love? Hmm. Do I? No, Ralph really ain't a weird food kind of a person. Like I, mean, I we do like like Sarah does like what well, ain't weird, but we like Sarah does like gumbo. And she put cold potato salad in it in a hot gumbo. Yeah, but that's normal out here. That's but normal. like, I'll put ketchup in my red beans. She doesn't throw it off stuff, man. We don't, I don't do all Ralph that. Ralph really isn't into all of that. Potato chip. Ooh, now let me tell. Let me put you on something. You gotta go to Wendy's and you get the Wendy's fries and you put it in the frosty. Oh my god, you dip it in the frosty. Don't, don't listen to her. Man. It's so bomb. I promise you. Promise you. Thank you, Christopher. Sit over five. How does your uh, channel on YouTube keep up the good work? Christopher, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, What's in those red cups? So I, I drink Jose Cuervo and water, and that's Sarah's babysitting some White Claw, man. Like it's a hardcore liquor. We're going to take shots in a minute. 
Thank you. What's I up, appreciate Florida? that, Tonka. Florida, I see you. New Jersey and New York and the building. What's going on? I thought New Jersey and New York, same damn thing. No. New Jersey and New York? But it's different cities. It's still in New York, right? Well. You're going to throw me off now. Ain't New York and New Jersey the same New York? I'm from Metairie. I have to love your channel, man. <laughs> you guys getting you. this W this Wednesday against the Bucks. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. We battle. Yes, indeed. Pennsylvania, what's going on, everybody? We're on the border. They said they're on the border. Okay, all She right. babysitting because Maya's been on antibiotics. We usually text each other through the each can. <laughs> That's right, Charlotte. I know you ain't been my wingman yeah, lately. Fried chicken recipe. Fried chicken's up there. Man, people don't know about that macaroni down here, man. Everybody says it looks like some ragged macaroni. Let me tell you something. It's you ain't fried no, chicken. I know, but I'm saying the fried chicken's up there. But it's got the macaroni with it. But I ain't showing how to make the macaroni. But the macaroni's on the plate. And everybody been dis disrespecting the macaroni. They just don't know. Uh, Paige sent over $2. What's up from the North Shore? Oh, what's up, North Shore? What's up, Paige? All right, Jen. Yeah, but over the Causeway Bridge. All right, All right no. Joe sent over 5 Sarah, I completely agree. Fries and a chocolate frosty. Craft oh, mac and Joe. cheese as well. All right, we're going to do a craft <laughs> mac and cheese soon, Joe. Oh, man. What's up, Marrero? No, Marrero now. We got okay. Kentucky. Bucks fan, by the way, but I have respect for Drew Brees. Right Rocky now. and Carlos mac and cheese. We almost went there the other day. We didn't have enough time. That's where I want to go. I already know what that's hitting on, man. See, when you got people like that, bro, when you got something of that caliber, they ain't letting that food get raggedy, man. I hope not, bro. Someone say you don't know if you've never been called a jive turkey all your life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man. Oh, my God. Oh, man, y'all. Y'all crazy. I, keep I haven't been to Rocky and Carlos in forever. I think it was like 12 the last time I've been there. But it's so bomb. It's so good. I was disappointed in mothers, man. And I hate to do that, man. You hate to do that to a local business, y'all. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to lie to y'all and tell y'all it's good. And y'all can come down here and say, bro, bro really, bro? You, you know, you, you say the shit's real. You need to keep, you, what you need to do is, I know people request these places. But what you really need to do, because they request them because that's what they hear, is you really need to show, like, the spots the locals go to that have the good food. So when they come... You know, to visit or whatever, then they know where to go. And a, not that, I'm, well, we neither one of us have ever been to Mother's before in our lives. We've been here our whole life. Because that's down like on Chapatulas and Porges. Like, we go down Chapatulas and we go on in a club over there. Barcadia or something like that. Lucy's, boom, we go over there. Not to eat, man. We don't go downtown to eat, you know what I mean? Yeah, very rarely. That shit was so raggedy, was that man. ding -a Bruh, the ding -a -ling. Oh, shoot, man. That was TikTok <laughs> live, bruh. Not ding Yo. Shit, I lost my thought. What's up? What's up, homo? Love oh, your accent. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. Who what they the say gonna them? beat them Saints? You wanna take it off? Yeah, them Saints about to win, y'all. I'm telling y'all. Hey, guys. House of California, Ontario, California. Been watching for about awesome. two to three weeks. You guys are cool people. God bless. Going to try some of the recipes. I cook myself up great right. in Italian. All right. That's awesome. Manny... Manny Mal, Manny Mal, said over four. Shot Manny. time. Thank you so much. Yeah, it is shot time. Let me get us some shots. Manny, appreciate you. Melba's, is it good? Okay, uh, Robo, Melba's, I don't know if we've ever been to Melba's. Y'all, there's so many places. You gotta remember, okay, I'm gonna explain something to y'all in a minute. Hold on while Ralph gets that. Robo, no, it is very much not, I don't wanna say the word, but they were talking about the flowers, if the flowers were legal. Very much not out here. We have one of the harshest punishments out here in Louisiana for that. They are very behind times in that. They're starting to get a little better, but the punishment is pretty, you know, they're still pretty rough on it. Um, <laughs> they said do a review of a strip club. Yeah, that, that, that'd be nice. I wonder if I can get away with that on here. Thank you, Ashley. That's so sweet. Uh, Can't get Sarah too Is far decriminalized in New Orleans. What you put in my cup? Uh, Malibu. What do you think I put in there? Oh, love you want a shot of water? Alright. Alright, wait, hold on. We gotta see who else got some shots. Anybody oh, else? Oh, okay. Got? Well, I didn't know that in New Orleans. Well, out here in JP? Yeah, how much is decriminalized? Maybe a JP? Well, no, they said it's just a fine. Okay, but it's a fine for just... A little smoker. Yeah, a little one. But if you got any more a little one on you, you're going to... And I wouldn't take no chance in believing that either, bro. You get the wrong... 
God, bro, you going straight to OPP, man. Oh. oh, under a half ounce. Oh, I don't oh, know, bro. Nice. I just wouldn't trust the cops, bro. I don't trust I don't them like trust that, man. New Orleans. But and JP, it ain't rolling like that. I guarantee it. Yeah, they definitely ain't rolling that way. You guys rock my world. We appreciate it, man. We don't do nothing but have a good time on Friday nights after our bacon. We hanging out with y'all. Are they man, from Mid friend. City? Not right now. I don't know. Then, then you know you don't trust them down. You end up an OPP fooling around them cops, man. It's legalized. They smack you in the head, bro, and tell you this ain't nothing legal about this. Boom. All right, let's take the All shot. Right, cheers, someone's got, they got questions. Yeah, they got questions. All right. Mm. Lord. Whew. Lord. Mine don't even taste bad. They just kind of look tingly. Ralph, I asked you some questions about your days as a tree climber. I okay. want to start my own business and I oh, need man. something. Bro, that's real extra. I need something <laughs> with small overhead. Okay, so the tree business, guys. Now, I'm going to put y'all on a little hustles, okay? I, I, I've been a hustler all my life, y'all. Uh, I've been blessed, man, in many things. I've made it a lot of things. If y'all want to hear some hustling, y'all let me know, bro, because I don't want to bore everybody else. But if y'all want to hear some things, I'll let you know. I've made millions of dollars in my life, messed millions of dollars up in my life. Okay? What is wrong with you? This is why I can't buy a new table, bro, because this is what you do. No, that's why you're buying a new table. Right, but when I get a new table, what you oh, doing? Oh, I ain't going to do that to your new table. I'll just go into the old table, man. I think you lying, bro. That's why all my stuff's broken in my house. Hold on, I gotta see if they wanna hear this. To the dome. <laughs> so that I, you all right, so me? look, I'm gonna tell y'all some things, man. I'm gonna tell y'all some ways I made millions and some ways I just made okay money and some ways I failed at life as far as business and money. Oh, look at the computer. So let me get rid of this ice and we're gonna, I'm gonna tell y'all some ways. The tree business is absolutely fabulous, but I'm gonna tell you about the tree business. It's a dangerous game. But you can make a I, lot of money. You made a lot of money, and I hated it. It was the one business that I absolutely hated, Ralph being in it. It's and I'm going to tell you about it. we got to go into detail of it so you can understand how it works. Okay? There's something about business that a lot of people fail at. It's so important, and it's so simple, but you're not even thinking of it. Watch. Oh, I'm going to tell you all. You're like, oh, wow. <laughs> Ralph, bro, you and the kids do the most of that table. For real, Charlotte? That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to buy a new table. And Sorry, getting trying to get fancy with the square tables because I done broke this one on a on a night of drink and I sat on it on an accident. All right, so <clears throat> this is where people mess up, to my opinion. All right, when you're gonna open up a business of any sort, okay, you got to know what you were doing to run your own damn business. You cannot open a tree business if you ain't willing to climb that tree. You can't open a thrift shop. If you don't have the passion it takes to run that thrift shop, go to garage sales and hustle to find what you need to have to get it. You cannot open a gold shop if you can't test the gold yourself and tell, is this real gold? Is it not real gold? Is this 10 karat gold? Is this 18 karat gold? What am I looking at? You got to know your business you're going to open before you open it. Or I guarantee you're going to be dependent on people. If you got to depend on somebody else, you fail from the jump. Okay, I'm telling you the truth on that. All right. So the basically business, what you're saying is, Whatever the skill or talent is behind the business, you have to know it before you try to open up a business. Because if you go try to open up, let's say, a tree business, and you get the jobs, but then you hire a professional tree climber, like subcontract them out. Yeah, so we got a tree climber called uh, Troy. Troy the tree climber. Man, this sucker's so bad, man. Bro, I mean, Troy's a bad sucker. Been climbing since 1986. You got to remember, we made, how, how much you think I made in the tree business? Like from Katrina up to date. How much you think I made my cut? <clears throat> from Katrina up until when you stopped? How much you think I made? Million dollars? Half? Three? One? How much? I mean, we rolled hard. We made, God, I mean, we made hard. some money. I would say, well, because some years, I mean, it's seasonal work. A million dollars? And then, all no, I wouldn't say that much. I mean, at the Katrina, my God, I probably made a half at the Katrina alone. No, not that much. I would say... We used to have $5,000 days. Yeah, but that don't... Right, how, much, how much? How much? How much? I would say over the years between three to 
All right, so three to four hundred thousand, and then there were years where you took three to four hundred thousand. But I probably made a quarter million after Katrina because you're gonna make a lot of money after a storm, an ice storm, a hurricane, any kind of storm. But what you can do is, this is what I used to do. I go down to Home Depot and buy a pack of the foam core signs. You know what I'm talking about? Yellow with foam core is it's like it's just foam core. Literally, it's like an eighth inch thick. Whatever comes fifty sheets for like forty bucks. It's house installations, and I cut it in four pieces, and I put Payless Tree Service on it with my phone number. And then I get a staple gun, and me and Sarah go at nighttime, and I nail them up on the corners, boom, 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 the light poles, boom, get boom. Get you some professional signs. Don't get professional signs, because the city's going to rip them down, you're going to waste your money, right? So then what I would do is i get calls, right? And all you really need to do to make money in the tree business, and then we're going to move off tree business. But the only thing you need to do in tree business is get you a pole saw, a $200 steel chainsaw, and a, and a nice tall step ladder, and you can do a lot of damage with that. Cause you got 12 foot on the pole saw and 12 foot on the ladder, you got 24 foot plus yourself. But how are you gonna learn to climb trees? You ain't gotta climb trees. That's what I'm getting at. Stay away from climbing trees for a moment and do what you can. Cause Sarah, I'll tell you, I used to take 150 foot trees down and make 1,500 dollars. But then I'd go do, I'd clean out six Craig Myrtles and make a thousand dollars in an hour. When I did that that 1,500 dollar tree, that took me two damn days to cut down. So big takedowns ain't worth it is what I'm saying. Now you say, oh, well, I need my arbor's license. Yeah, you probably do. But me, I've been cutting corners all my life just trying to survive. So I never got my arbor's license. I always had to run from the tree police. <laughs> tree police were always a foot behind, step behind me, man. It was always a step behind me. I was blessed that I, it was always behind me and not in front of me. But one day I was cutting down this tree, man. It was three days. Get Six your license. Dollars. Get your license. Don't even worry. Just if you can't get your license because you ain't got the money and you need to get some quick money, get you a little pool saw. You can run it from Home Depot. I guarantee you can make five, six hundred a day. Okay. Bro, get your. Don't listen to Ralph on that part. Get your damn license, whatever your requirements are for your state. Bro, we ain't gonna. It ain't worth the hassle of running from no damn tree police. Learn your laws in your state. I'm going to just give you that advice ahead of time because as the wife that had to deal with the drama and if you get a fine, in some states you could be punished up into jail. Like if yeah, for cutting a tree, man. You just tell the tree police, man, like I'm trying to put some, some food on the table for they family, man. <laughs> I'll never forget. One time they called us, man. We had been working on this tree for three days, bro. <laughs> Slice my leg off, I'm gonna be pissed. Man, nah, you gotta be careful in this game. You use the pole saw so it's way, way away from you. Boom. Trying to make a lot of money. Apple license, bro. No. <laughs> yeah. So Milton pulls up on me, man. Milton's the, the tree police. He's the big dog. I was number two on the most wanted list. Sorry to tell you this. True story. But I was feeding my family, man. I had to do what I had to do to survive out here. So I was number two, man. My picture was up there, Thank man. And, and Milton had been looking for me, man, for years. So he's got his most wanted. It's one to ten, bro. Ralph the Baker's number two. Most wanted, huh? Yeah. He, he's I'm number two, and my business partner at the time was number one. <laughs> so he'd always be behind us. But one day, he finally caught us, bro. They said, the other, do you climb trees before or after tequila and water? <clears throat> you never go into a tree drinking, smoking. I done seen people, man. You have to be a thousand percent sober. I Gotta don't care. Ready, how much you say something makes you focus or something makes you concentrate. Kill you in a minute's notice. Do not, under any circumstance, whatever your recreational use of anything is, has to be when you are not in a tree. Please, please do not. There's a lot of money. Tree. For my people that want to get into the tree business, there's a lot, a lot of money. <laughs> Most wanted by the tree police. Most wanted, man. was number two. Well, he got us one day, man. It was a $6,500 tree. And they had a tree company that passed by. We said, shit, man, they're going to call Milton on us. What are we going to do? And all we had left was the stalk. But the stalk of this tree was like this big around. I mean, it's big. Still 40 foot in the air. And here's Milton, bro, pulling up. Ah, oh, shit, we, we got, bro. They got us. What are we going to do? What, what can we do? <laughs> they said, <laughs> they said defund the tree police. <laughs> <laughs> they got defunded, but they ain't nothing, man. We're trying to survive out here, man. Wait, tree lines matter. Yeah, man, we were what trying to get it, man. Look. Oh, my God. Here comes Milton, bro. Milton's got this big oh, old camera, bro. Milton's got the camera on his neck, bro. He's got the clipboard. <laughs> I turn right and say, and i never forget this. As long as I live. He said, ha ha, I got you. <laughs> turn around and there's Milton, bro. I said, oh, shit, man. This ain't good. And it's got a green truck and it says forestry department on it. 
<laughs> they sign a paper, and what they do is they tell the people that you cut the tree down for luck. These people are not licensed. Do not, you ain't got, you are not obligated to pay them because they're not licensed in the state of Louisiana. And they give her that paper, bro, and you wait for them to leave. And what happens is you're not allowed to start up that saw again. Once he puts that stop work order, it's a stop work order on the jump. You cannot start that saw. Well, what you think we did? We waited for him to get about 10 minutes down the road. We fired up, landed the tree, hurried up, and got on out of there, right? Well, knocked on the door, and the lady says, oh, nah, got a paper right here that says I don't have to pay you. Uh, let me tell y'all. Is it part the axe? <laughs> bro, that didn't work out too good for that lady, bro, because the worker, Troy... Said, so look, man, I'm gonna tell you like this, because Troy didn't give a damn. He had been climbing all day long, man, his three day job. Troy said, look, man, I'm gonna tell you something. And he got kind of silly. I'll never <laughs> Ralphie this. jumping fences to get away. Nah, yeah, you gotta get out of there, man. I'm gonna tell y'all another story in a minute, but Troy said, look, man, and I'm standing back, y'all know, I'm kind of a quiet person, honestly. Truly, I am. Sarah Day. I'm really a quiet person. You You're quiet until you cr call me crying because you almost got caught. Yeah, well, so <laughs> Troy's like, Troy's banging on the door. Finally, the lady answers the door. We, we need to get paid to 6500 man. We've been there three days. But like I said, Milton done told us they don't pay. Oh. Long story to be short, oh my God. I hear Troy say, look, ma'am, in five minutes, I ain't going to be responsible for my own actions. She said, are you threatening me? He said, you take it how you want to. Troy came over there. He's pissed, bro. I said, what happened, Troy? You got our money? No. But we're going to get this money. I said, what are we going to do? Her husband came out, bro, but Troy was no joke, man. Troy, uh, Troy was a, he is a hell of a tree climber. He's still climbing trees today. I'll show y'all a picture in a second, man. This dude's bad. But when he told the lady he won't be responsible for his own actions, the husband came out there and wanted to know if it was a threat. He said, no, it's a promise. We got our money, man. We got our money and went about our business. And then I got away for another about five more years after that before Milton got me again. Uh, Moral of the story. Get your license if you're required to have a license. Bro, they want you to know the color of the root and the insects of the tree and the barrier of the ground. But what the hell that matters for? What's up, y'all? Really? You know what I'm saying? Get the hell out of here, man. Tell us we need to learn something we need to know about. Y'all make a cute couple. Do y'all play sports or used to play sports? Sorry, used to be uh. <laughs> I'll put your tree right back up, ma'am. <laughs> no, I tell you, one time, bro, God forgive me on this, man. God forgive me for this, bro. Oh I took this God. big old tree down, y'all. I needed this money, man. Rent was due. You know what story I'm talking about. Not happened yet. two times. <laughs> happened two times in 15 years, man. Rent was due. I needed this money bad, man. I went up there. I cut this big old tree down. Ooh, cutting it. Uh, hours on hours, man. Big trees, bro. Roping, roping it down beautifully. Everything's nice. Even had to rent a bobcat. Cause I, didn't, I didn't own nothing. I didn't own no bobcat. I just owned... My spikes, my saddle, my ropes, and my saws, right? <laughs> so, uh. What's up, Familia? Set over five, TF1329. Uh, TF Thank you. Thank you so much. So, look. And tree fall. <laughs> yeah, so look, man. All of a sudden, the tree gets cut down, and this young boy, about 20 years old, comes pulling up in his, in his old car. We got this bobcat, man. It's gonna push the pile nice. It's a big old pile, like tall as the house, man, and 20 foot long. We done cut the tree down. Oh my God. They and he comes up to me. He says, hey, uh, he says, I'm uh, looking for the boss, man. I said, yeah, that's me. What's going on? He said, we got a pickle. I said, really? We got a pickle. What, what's, what's, what's going on? He said, tree's done. We just need to get payment and go on ahead about our business, man. What's my that, grandma man? got dementia. I said, really? She's got dementia. I said, she's been out here talking to us and uh, she wanted this done and that done and the whole thing. We've been talking for two days. And now the job done, she's got dementia. So I was I tell you what, if I don't get this money, I have no option but to take this entire tree pile. I'm pushing it under that carport, blocking in the whole surrounding and I'm blocking in the back door. You let me know what you want to do. He said, do what you got to do. So I was I tell you what, I'll wait about 10 minutes for the money. If not, I'll do what I got to do. God forgive me, bro. I feel bad. But I took that whole pile. I didn't get paid that 3500 bro. I didn't What's get paid. Up, but I guarantee you they had to pay somebody 3000 to go move all that shit, bro. I guarantee you that. Them old folk will burn us, man. Them old folks, they'll burn you quick, bro, on that money, man. Damn, Lorax is pissed. <laughs> Damn, that was some shit, man. It went down. <clears throat> We're just going to say, at the end of the story, while the money was good, get your license because the hustle and the bustle is rough. 
Thank you, Joe. It is, but you can honestly make so much money in the tree business and nobody talks about it, bro. Wait on, Joe sent you over ten dollars. Bacon police tell me what are you in for? Ralph, I got caught baking cakes without <laughs> without real butter. For real, bro, it's like that, man. It's like, almost damn. eight thirty. Kids under eighteen need to go take a bath and hit the head. For real, Shelly, I, we ain't got no Alyssa. Alyssa's you. out. RJ is out. I got me some oysters. Eat them. Date night. Chill. Bro, those oysters did not work the other night. Okay? They did. Really? Yeah, you didn't have no. That's a lie. They ain't no aphrodisiac. We passed the hell out on the sofa. That's a lie. Hey, Texas. Good night, y'all. <laughs> not y'all's kids. The kids in here, she said. <laughs> <laughs> they, said, <laughs> they said, damn. <laughs> She's lying, bro. I don't believe that. Bro. Yeah, we from, well, we're from Jefferson Parish, y'all. Just call out. Bro, I mean, we just gonna keep it real. That boys just don't do the trick, bro. That boys just, just do saying, do the trick, man. You get a little older in age, bro. I'm just saying, you know, you need more than oysters. I'm just saying. Man, what y'all this woman talking about? I'm 38 years old. <laughs> I just... <laughs> crazy as shit, woman. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm in the prime of my life, man. I'm just playing Bro, DoorDash, more oysters than one sour called them out. <laughs> bro, I'm going to have 16 dozen pull up over here, bro. Pop about the wine, blue. <laughs> bro, I'm going to go over down the store and get me a rhino, man. When she was looking for a tree to climb. <laughs> Wait, a what? A rhino. Right, you don't play around with rhinos, bro. Y'all don't play around with rhinos, bro. Sarah's getting the couch ready. Shout out Hawaii. What's up, y'all? What's up, Hawaii? Dishing out all along. Why did you just Oh, my God. Yeah, I know I got some minute hand and all thing or two about a rhino, man. Is that a rhino? I know somebody. I ain't the only one who knows about a rhino, bro. Come on, man. Them things sell faster than cupcakes, man. Wait, hold on. Wait, you said you know about the rhino? Yeah, I know about rhinos. Man, you take some rhinos all the time. Really? I got one on backup. I might take it tonight. I didn't know about this. Oh, lottos. I got them, y'all. I got some lottos. Oh, I Wait, might. Thank you for Bruh. making the videos. Getting my inbox tomorrow. All right. Look. Got them, y'all. This <laughs> the gas station is popping for the hot beat. Yeah, I'm telling you, get you a couple of rhinos, but you got to make sure it's the real ones. Can't get the knockoff, look. Bruh, you know too much about that. Ain't nothing wrong with rhinos, man. A little male performance. Ain't nothing wrong with that, what man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, I'm about to tell y'all something. Wait, let me see these lines. Oh, uh-uh. Wait, let me, well, you let me show. You ain't got to be touching them, man. He's a good luck right now. Okay, let me tell y'all a story, okay? Wait, Sarah trying to bad luck my stuff, man. Hold on, so let me tell you, so me and Rob was talking, you know like how, you know, everybody has this conversation, right? Like if you win, what you gonna do with the money, and who you gonna help out, and all that, what kind of, what you gonna do, right? And the house you gonna buy, and the cars, you know, so every time we buy a ticket, we talk, we talk all of that. So, <laughs> so anyway, so he tells me he's getting his dad to <laughs> You think I was gonna hey, I'm not. I'm not talking. Wait. I'm not discussing this. I don't know what you're talking about. I need about it for evidence. Bro. I need it for evidence. Ralph said. My dad told me to buy these tickets in my wallet. Ralph said, "Oh, these ain't my tickets. This is my dad's tickets. Cause when he cashes it in, you ain't got no entitlement." M3, you know what it is. <laughs> Good night, y'all. <laughs> Good night, y'all. Oh, she is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Take a couple shots and pop a rhino. It's on. M3 knows what it is. I'm telling you. There ain't no bullshit playing around. Well, if Ralph wins, he's, he won't bust out his balls over $13.99. <laughs> yeah, right. Right? For the crab platter? But we order Bruh, the whole so the moral of the shit. story is he's getting his dad to cash in the tickets because it's his tickets because then I won't be community property. <laughs> it's not the only man to pop a rhino. <laughs> What the hell's wrong with people? Oh, shit, bro. Oh. 
exact same reason my dad gives me $30 to get some tickets. I'm telling you, it's like that. No, it's my dad didn't give me this money, man. You lying. My dad gave me this money, man. You took that money out of our bank account to buy the tickets. That's, That's a lie, bro. You want a security footage, I will tell the judge. I ain't, ain't worried about you, man. I'll spend that money in a minute, man. I don't have no rest of the Rough the bank or buy 92,000 restaurants. Wait, give me your phone real quick. Surely what, man? I don't know. More laundry, yep. Look, so we just telling it all. So that's what, so then Ralph, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go get me some cosmetic surgery. I'm gonna buy me like a $5 million house. I'm gonna get a trust fund for each one of my kids. And he looked at me and he said, no, you're not. That ain't, that won't be our money. That'll be my dad's money. And so, I can't do nothing if you gave us the loot for that, man. You a lie. You thought you was getting me on this camera to be saying all this. You crazy as hell, woman. <laughs> Ralph stick to your story. <laughs> right. My dad gave me that money, man. Nothing I can do on this. Pops oh gave me that God. money. Just, just. She trying to get me to say we went down a bank and all that. She got to be crazy. I'm your witness, Sarah. Man, it went me crazy as hell, man. Oh, my God. Ralph's going to take the Santa Claus and go <laughs> back to his parents. <laughs> Grab a lobster, baby. Blue crab. Oh, wait, Shirley said, what is a rhino with big ol' eyes and capital letters? All right, rhino is, you really can't go to the store. You got to go down to Mr. Binky's and get you one. <laughs> and, uh. Wait, the adult store. Because not everybody has a Mr. Binky's. Really? Yeah, really. That's not oh, like a, a national right. really? store. I mean, not that I know of. I think that's just the local adult store. All right, you got to go to your adult store. You got to, man, I can't even talk like this. They might have kids in here, man. They might have kids in there. Shirley has a male enhancement pill. The Rhino 69. The king cakes are being shipped Monday because they're made to order. So it's usually about five to seven days of uh, processing time, not including the weekends. And be I'm sorry, not Monday, Tuesday because it's a holiday. Oh, I forgot we got a holiday. Coming. Yeah, we didn't ship today because we didn't want king cakes sitting over the weekend. So we're going to, so UPS will be picking them up Tuesday. <laughs> they still in a storm. Yeah, but see, in the ones in the store, y'all, you got to make sure they got, like, the little letters on the, on the pill. Otherwise, they might be fake, Our man. adult store in my county is the Pleasure Zone. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. No wrong Are man. you interested in a nice camera? Sure. What, 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 what kind of camera? What are we talking about? Dad gave me $30 for a lottery ticket as well. It's true. Brown pack. You that's lying. That's the truth, man. You Your dad gives you money, brand number Okay, black. Shirley. The conversation was, my dear friend. We were talking about, Ralph said he's got some oysters because they're an aphrodisiac. And I was saying oysters don't work. So he said he's going to get him a rhino. It's a pill that helps men's performance. Performance. Longevity. <laughs> Why? I never you know, knew about I these things. I can't be messing with you, man. I'm so lost. In this conversation, Shirley, you ain't Thanks lost. Thanks for that bro. discount today. You're welcome. Yeah, that was a good little discount we threw out there. Forty percent off. The baker in the kitchen every. She said, "I'm sorry, I asked." Oh my god. You ain't sorry. You gonna get some of your husband? This is longevity. Sarah has 118 witnesses in the chat. You're busted. I'm gonna just say, y'all, if I come and I hack Ralph's channel and come live and be like, "Look, I need y'all all to come to court right quick," because Ralph's uh, trying to not split the, you know what I'm saying? He, he I can't split what ain't mine, bro. I can't split what is not mine. I'm, I'm sorry about that. You want me to lie and split some money that ain't mine? Bro, I wish you would. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, you win. Uh, $700 million. What's up, Georgia? Bro, you be, you be gone. You be gone, bro. Ralph, what's your favorite meal to cook? Oh, uh, barbecue shrimp, y'all. I love some barbecue shrimp, man. That, that's some good stuff there, bro. Is this live now? Yes, we're live. And this is not yeah, pre-recorded. Yeah, I think we're the only YouTubers that go live. <laughs> I understand. I don't think too many people do it. I got a family attorney pro bono. All right, Melly, I don't know who you're talking about. I don't know whose side you on. <laughs> man, I'll tell y'all what. Speaking of that. Speaking of that. We need uh, more people like y'all. Look, God, I got a good friend of mine. He's a good friend. Sarah Tate. Can you say princess? It's my name. What's up, princess? So, I got a good friend, man. He's a lawyer, man. He brought me down there. So I was like, says you got some time to meet or whatever, have you? 
Yeah, sure enough. I'll be down there and meet you tomorrow for lunch. All right, well, fair enough. Probably was so nice of him. Let me tell you what he did, man. <clears throat> I met him down there. Went and he treated me some lunch. Boom, got some lunch. And I said, look, I made your appointment down there. We're going to go down there and get your soup. Yeah, fair enough. I appreciate that. You know, you ain't had to do that. I don't know why he bought me a soup. So he said, look, I'm going down there over here. Going to get this soup. I said, all right, wait. I said, tell you what. Man, I appreciate that, this album, man. Man, bro, I went down to the store, y'all. This must be a rich person. This is a rich thing, bro, because I ain't never seen nothing like this in my lifetime. When you go down to the suit store. Thank you, guys. Instead I'm of having a bunch of suits and all that, bro, they got like little boxes, right? Box, 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 different colors, like swatches, like like this material, that material, this material, that material. You pick out the material. Okay, fair enough. Pick out your shirt. Pick out your buttons. Pick out the inside of it. Pick out anything you can think of to these suits, y'all. Anything. Every single... You write your signature down. Put it on the inside. Long story short, it's about a three-hour process. He bought me a real nice suit, but I ain't get it yet. I guess they make it, y'all. They make it. I know new people do this, bro. I thought Did people, you tell them what's inside your suit? Got some tigers on the inside of my suit, bro. I got some tigers. Bro, he got tigers in the lining of his jacket. He's about to be Tiger King. Ralph the Tiger King, bro. Like, who? Bro, look, I'm gonna look like a He's about to be like on. Joe. Joe Yo. Exotic. Them suits were so expensive. I said, damn, bro. I said, man. I just never knew people did this, y'all. I thought people with money, right? They go down to the suit store, buy a suit that's close. And he bringing somebody get a little sewed up, sewed stitched. Ralph the Tiger King. Bro, I'm gonna have my tigers. Bro, my tigers on the inside. Though I gotta when I when I whip the jacket off, bro, you gonna you gonna see the tigers, okay? You gonna see the tigers there. <laughs> you ain't gonna see the tigers from the jump, okay? That's gonna be that's gonna be a secret right there. Uh, who likes McKenzie's king cakes? Tasty's got them, but I don't know if Ralph's selling king cake too. I do sell king cakes, but I do love McKenzie's king cake. And even though Tasty's got them, and that is my go-to, I do like them, I still don't feel like they're not really McKenzie's for some reason. I think you know why, because the way I make something, and I give y'all the recipes, but it's still kind of like a little different than how I make it. Like, everybody's different, you know what I'm saying? So it's... Bro, who said I sound like Matilda's mom? <laughs> Bro. Oh, shit. You remember that movie, Matilda? Yeah, y'all ain't lying on that, though, bro. I see you. I see you. Just don't get caught. <laughs> oh my god. I made your pineapple upside down cake. It was a fire. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, to see that that there is a good one, man. That upside down pineapple cake, man. That, that's something nice there, boy. I'm telling you. When's that next car ride? We could do a uh, tour ride soon. Uh unfortunately well, see tonight we drink drinking beverages, but if not, we could. Matter of fact, speaking of that, y'all ready for a shot? What made you start YouTube, honestly? No. Nah, I mean, because I'm a, I was famous. Lord, I guess. That's okay. I, was <laughs> I had like 300,000 followers on uh, which one's mine, man? I had like 300,000 followers on uh, on TikTok. So Sarah, honestly, Sarah's the one that put some of my videos on YouTube. And she's like, oh, we'll put them up here. What have you? And she did. And so, next thing you know, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, boom, 20 million views on my videos in like two weeks. Yo, so, I the reason for all of his success in life don't let ralph fool y'all okay i'm just really? saying it's all because of me you want to be none without me <laughs> let's take a shot to that huh i'm just playing i'm just playing y'all just playing good luck is that you knew what was up <laughs> No, What's who else from the 504 here besides me? Well, these women, boy, they're something else, man. It's a team. <laughs> sound like my wife. I know, man. Shit, man. Sa Sarah, boy. the manager. No, his name is Ralph. Oh, what's up, Ralph? Got Ralph in the house, man. So many shots fired tonight. <laughs> Bro, it's really going down, man. Ralph is the Tiger King. Does that make Sarah the Rhino Tamer? <laughs> Damn right, it does. <laughs> Ralph, we are the rival Sunday Tom Brady, baby. Oh, uh, man, the Bucks are getting kicked in the yes. ass. I'm about to take them down. That's right, Joe. Behind every successful man 
is. And hey, they got some successful. Is. They got some successful men by themselves, no? That's true. Just like they got some successful women out there by themselves, but it does help to have a woman behind your back or as a man. But it's just to keep you in line. Yeah. Really, what it is more than us being a woman or a man is I'm really make more cocoa bombs. We had a cocoa bombs up there. We could put a few up there. Somebody Thank needs you, them. Shirley. <laughs> what, Ralph? What is your zodiac sign and your wife's? I'm Aquarius. And I'm a Scorpio. That bitch she... stings, man. She ain't nothing nice, bro. That stink out. She just sting you quick, man. Oh my God, damn, Ralph, you cool as hell, fam. I appreciate y'all, man. King Cake's gonna be going down all the way to Carnival time, probably next month. They be going down to next month. Man, them King Cakes, man, they, they nice, man. Only thing is, remember, if you order the King Cake today, let's say, or even maybe even yesterday, not someone out. They didn't go out yesterday, King Cakes. All right, so the we're day before yesterday Tuesday. went out. Now, since it's a holiday, Monday, we gonna we gonna do is we're gonna bake the King Cakes, and I get these big long white tables in there, and I put them out, and I bake a bunch of King Cakes. And they fresh. And then what we do is priority mail, y'all. They're one to three days. And we wait. So now there ain't no king cakes and go out till Tuesday, like Tuesday evening. So that they get there and they're fresh. Because nobody wants to stay We try to work our best around right. weekends and holidays so that nobody's stuff is sitting in the post office. Unless it's seasonings. Then yeah. you can go roll it. You ready? I drink some. <laughs> Already? Dang, bro, you no, 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 no. I already took it. I already took half of it. Come on, I can't do another one right now. Cheers. Cheers, cheers y'all. All right. Ugh. You guys are so much fun. <coughs> Lord. Uh, the website, guys, is in the uh, description of the live. It's bakers101.com. Bak yeah. And remember the seasoning. My Cajun season and my spicy season, and y'all, today is 40% off, y'all. So when? Midnight? Midnight, bro. Today, man. Today, go in that midnight. I'm a f I am ain't going to take that sale off at, at Since midnight. Since we're going to be drunk, it's going to be till tomorrow morning we get up, bro. But it's 40% off. Because I'm going to be honest with y'all. I took a two shots to the dome. Oh, shit. Man, she I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be able to take that sail off at midnight, so that's a man, lie. So I'm claw, just saying. My claws looking empty, bro. I gotta get some claws out. <laughs> I'm just saying, butter king. Yeah. And I'm a Pisces. Not that anybody asks, but three messed up ass signs. <laughs> Shirley said. <laughs> Sarah, that girl, Ralph, know what's up all day, every day. She, Sarah, runs the show. Period. Thank you, Faye. Hey, I wouldn't go that far on them now. Hold up, now. Bitch, you look lit. Oh, shut up. Where my cup, man? You ain't getting this Stop ice. Stop with the ice. You make me nervous. Like, you're about to drop ice, it. I'm a cancer. Hell, emotional. I am from New Orleans, even though every, well, Louisiana. I've been, I was born and raised in Laplace. <laughs> then I moved to Kenner when I was about 11. Then I lived in Kenner and Metter in New Orleans all my life, even though nobody thinks that I really live here because I don't understand. You know what? I want to show them something. I want to show you how serious I was about that that review I did, y'all. Hold on, I'm going to show you something. Right, What's up, James? Up, all right, huh? Angela told me to scroll up. Wait, hold on, Angela. There's so many comments, it's hard for me to scroll. Look, y'all, this is in the refrigerator. I'm about to throw it away, bruh. Ringo, go to Mexico tomorrow. Ralph, I got you with the tequila. That's that raggedy ass poor boy. Look, y'all think I'm lying? I'm about to throw it away. Virgo, even though no one asked. <laughs> y'all see that, huh? I don't lie, y'all. I'm telling y'all the truth. Russ, how you look so dumb. Shirley, Shirley, I'm not yet. Shit, that, that girl just getting started. What up, Ralph and Sarah show? Nothing but the utmost love and support all the way from Sea Home, Alabama. No roll tide. Thank you, Nate. Go Tigers. How is the Tigers suck? Oh, wait, hold on. How was my chicken tonight? It was good. It was good. I'll let you know if I'm sick tomorrow. Bro, why you always playing on my chicken? I cooked it. I hope so. I cooked it three fourths of the way this time. <laughs> love from the urgent care. Jacqueline, why you at the urgent care? Are you okay? Man. Jacqueline, urgent care. Cajun spaghetti. That's what I, I did. Chicken spaghetti tonight. 
That poor boy was weak. Three fourths of the week. Weak, bro. <laughs> I couldn't tell if she got me on the chicken tonight because she put it in chicken spaghetti. I ate the chicken spaghetti. Hope to God I don't get sick because the chicken's raw. Let's just hope and pray. Please, God. Arkansas. Please. Tigers. I ain't never heard of uh, no tigers. I said, go tigers. Not no tigers. Go tigers. Y'all too lit. What y'all drinking on like that? I'm drinking on White Claw. <laughs> and She's taking shots of Malibu. Shots of Malibu because I'm a white weed. <clears throat> And I drink Jose Cuervo on water. Shirley Please said, eat that raggedy shit, Ralph. I threw that shit in the garbage just now. What you do in the garbage? Mothers. Oh. <laughs> What's that about? Oh, you talking about Sarah's food, man. I hope Sarah's ain't gonna get everybody sick, man. Drink tequila to kill the germs, Joe said. <laughs> for real. Thanks for saving us from that expensive raggedy food. I mean, honestly, I hate to see y'all go there. And that's just, just me. $25 a person, bro? Shit, I gotta turn the heat on. It's cold in here. I just turned the heat off. Are you crazy, bro? You must really be drunk, man. I'm hot. It's 66 degrees in there. I know you're hot. <laughs> Ralph right about to be alone in the bed. Sarah, all of her goofy tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so it was called the Ferdy's Famous. Sandwich or yeah, I went with what they got, the famous. Give me what you got that's famous. Show me what now, you know. Now, the good for. part about that po' boy you got that was kind of good, it was pretty good, was like they had like a coleslaw or like a cabbage with like instead oh, of mayonnaise, it, it was mustard. It was, it was pretty good. That part was good. I am not going to recommend nobody to go there because it was raggedy, bro. It cost now, me wait, $25. The, but the bread pudding was bomb. The bread pudding was good, but you can go all kind of places and get bread pudding. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to pick a spot and I'm going to show y'all. You're going to be like, bro, bro, showing us a gas station, bro. You got to be crazy. Just go there. Trust what I tell you. Just go there. I know it's going to be cheap. You're going to think, oh, this shit's raggedy. But Probably I guarantee nice. you, bro. I'm telling y'all. You're going to be like, bro, bro, I'm going to save us all this loot. And we ate good tonight, bro. And we were right. able to call the gas station and, and order it. Angela said that was a 3.6. Was that out of a 5 or a 10? 10. That's out of a 10. That's out of a 10. Everything's out of a 10. They got lucky on that 360. I really wanted to go lower, but... Made a comment about Ralph driving past Subway. <laughs> yeah, right? That gas station always hits. That's for that's that's the truth. A lot of people don't realize that, man. They think, oh, gas station food, shh. Man, Thank gas you guys. Station, man. Them gas stations are working with something, man. I'm telling you. That's true. They got a few gas stations out here, man. They working with something. I'm telling you. Now I'm gonna tell you this. We called at Mother's. We called, but we went at like 10:45 or 11, like before the the lunch rush came. We had zero weight. We called ahead and ordered it, and we got it. It was ready immediately by the time we got there. So, but if you go during like lunch and dinner, I don't know how, bro? I don't get it. I don't like the get lines it. wrapped around a corner, and it's raggedy, bro. I think to myself, bro. But you know what? My luck. I'd open a restaurant and be doomed and gloom. Wouldn't have a customer, bro. Damn. This says zero out of ten. Melly, so number five. Do y'all have dates for Houston yet? And YouTube is tripping. Show Weight Watchers that when I walk. <laughs> oh, Melly. Melly, we ain't got date chat, but if I don't get a date soon. And it, and it interrupts, what I told Sarah is that if it interrupts when y'all coming down here, then I'm going to tell them they, they can book me, but I ain't going to be able to go on that certain date right there when y'all down here. Because otherwise, if we're going to be in Houston, y'all going to be in New Orleans, so we're going to make that happen. Is Jumbo still open on Williams Boulevard? Ah, nah. I don't think so. I don't I don't think, mean, I'm not even familiar with Jumbo, so I don't think so. I don't think so, but let's see. I don't always drink, but when I do, I prefer to be shapeless by the B Water, my friend. For real. What do you do for a living? So. Jumbo's Restaurant and Kennedy. We had, well, we have, like, brick, we have a thrift store and with his mom. But we ended up stepping away from that because Ralph was able to go full time um, from it started with TikTok, like the support and the love from everybody on TikTok doing orders through his website. So he be, he was able to do baking and sell his seasoning full time. Jumbo's restaurant is closing its doors. Oh, that's sad, Ralph. Bro, you got raggedy food, bro. Oh, Jumbo Buffet? That's what they was talking about? That's brown. No, that's down there by Golden Corral. You know where that's at? It's shut down, bro. Oh, that man. That means my luck, bro. Invest everything, bro. The now YouTubers. 
Ralph is a yeah. professional slots player. Oh, let me show y'all a picture I took today. Hold up, bro. I took a picture today. I got to show y'all this picture. Hold on, I got to show y'all something. Hold up. Let me show y'all a professional. Yeah. Hold on. Glad y'all doing good. Keep up the good content. Yes. And then Ralph also recently got Montanize, I think is how you say it, on YouTube. So that's helping out as well. So we appreciate you guys. Look at the professional Sarah, bro, playing poker today. Bro, why you always hitting a picture like a paparazzi, y'all? Look at her, y'all. Wasting all that loot. Bro, I put in $11. $31. No, you put in 40 and I put in 11 Look, eyes of a loser. A <laughs> loser slot player. <laughs> what is a hot Carl again? What you mean? What, the, what you mean a hot Carl? Oh. What's that mean? Did you play any it's sports as a teenager? No, nah, I, I never played sports. So. I did. I played soccer, volleyball. I sucked at basketball. I danced. What else I did? She did many things. She did many, many things. Y'all, many talents, okay? She's a woman of many talents. Gambling is a mug's game. <laughs> no, we was like, What you mean? What you mean, mug's game? Ralph was climbing trees. <laughs> what it honestly, you're not gonna find anything good in New Orleans directly except what you get on the corner stores and stuff, not in a quarter, especially even their subway is trash. Shirley is well, I'm not gonna say that subway is trash because I ain't never had subway in New Orleans that I can remember. <laughs> What's he talking about? <laughs> Sarah loves herself that mother's boy boys. No, I mean it. No. Well, very productive and very tiny high school football player. That's all right, Nolan. You got this. Keep it up. Because he's weird as hell, Sarah. You married a weirdo? He's a weirdo. <laughs> oh, my God. They being ignorant tonight. That's all right. Um, Fat, Fat Boy's, Boy's pizza. pizza. I love Fat Boy's Pizza. Sarah I'm says it's too I'm not a big greasy. fan. I love Fat Boy. I think I like it just because the aspect of it takes up. I like that it takes up my whole table, bro. Ralph gets <laughs> Ralph gets impressed by the size. No, you get impressed by the size. No, I don't. Size is usually a disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's <laughs> God help us, bro. You know, this this video may be going to private, y'all. If you ain't in this live, they're gonna miss it, bro. Jesus God. I'm just playing. <coughs> oh wait, God, bro. Wait, okay. Fat boys is too greasy. <laughs> it's what I was trying to say, and it came out wrong. Oh, oh, for the love of God, Jesus, man. You right. You walked right into that one, player. <laughs> for the love of the Lord, man. Let's see right here. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Iron Hole. <laughs> Shirley Warren. I'm going to let a slide on that one. I ain't going to say nothing. I ain't going to fire it back yet. I'm going to dig a little deeper, then I'm going to fire it back, bro. And when y'all see it, y'all going to know. Anyways, Fat Boys is too greasy. It's just like... A big, like you could, the grease is gonna pour off. But I like fat boys. Sarah don't. So I, I think it's, it's all right. taste. It's. I mean, it's all right. I'll eat it. <laughs> no, Charlotte, that's not the pizza we ate. The pizza we ate was that's amore. That's good. That's amore is good. Yeah. I love your your videos. Keep doing your thing. Uh, best pizza spots you recommend? It's Amore is probably the best that I, I've had out here, I think. I'm gonna be honest. Our pizza places, I like... What's the one on Jefferson Highway by my mom's? Is that... Oven? It's not oh, oven. shit. I forget the name of it. Uh, Oak Oven or something? Oak Oven, yeah, that's is Oak that, Oven. I don't know that's, the name that's of Oak it. Oven. Yeah, that's, that's Oak Oven. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I ain't really found like this great pizza Surely, spot. Surely, Mo yet. sucks, man. Moses, terrible pizza. Shirley Pilani's people. Man. Looks like two on the couch tonight, then in the kitchen and so on. People have it, Shirley. Now, Moses is good. Moses is fire. What's Vigo James said? No, Moses really is good. I like the aggravation. That's Moses a Moore's. 
That's Amores. That's Amores is good in our area. Moe's would be good over there, seriously. Um, and and Oak Oven would be good in Harahan or River Ridge, wherever that is. That'd probably be a three that I know. Oh, I like to go to that one on Magazine Street. Uh, shit, man. What's oh, Mid-City? Joseph over five. What you think, babe? Uh, you better know how to work it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Just shit here, yeah, man. This girl is ridiculous, man. Oh, my God. Shout out, Dave. Um, Who does the dishes? I do dishes all the time, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I do some dishes. Sarah does them, too. Uh, let's see. Wait, hold on. Ralph can't fish. He's hiding from the wildlife and fish game. That is a very true statement. Uh, Yo, Ralph, that Cajun seasoning was so good. Even Ramsey needs some spice for his life. That's what I'm saying. I we appreciate should that, yeah. Send why don't we send like a PR package to Gordon Ramsay? We should do that and see what he says. Hey man, I wouldn't know what to do with some seasoning in his life, man. All he knows is some salt and pepper, man. He don't know no more than that. Have y'all ever had a place called Griffin's? That's my favorite food place from Poma. Hmm. They said, said Ralph, stop. Charlie said Ralph, stop lying. Moses is the best. Nah, Moses is good. I ain't, I ain't gonna take that away from Moses. I showed y'all he lives down the street from my house, man. Mo lives right down the road, right there, man. He don't bring me a free pizza soon. I'm gonna kick his door down. I've been the most recommended in New York City. Not impressed. Only a few decent, like upside down pizza on Eighth Avenue. Yeah. <sighs> Sarah most wants a pizza. <laughs> y'all ever tried Domino's? We got a few where I'm from. Yeah, man, we get like Domino's three times a week, and it sucks. I'm a Domino's top fan, bro. They don't never show me no love, man. Ragged ass Domino's. Some Cajun season and tree climbing instructions. Some rhinos. There's your PR box. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bro. Oh shoot, man! I'm telling you, man, it's for real. Zara, do you have a prank, Ralph? I recently put milk, milk of magnesia into my husband's syrup. You need some ideas, Ashley. One thing I do not do. Is prank Ralph. Damn right. Because Ralph, I mean, like, if it's, like, an innocent prank, all right, something like that. Or, like, like I'll do stuff with the kids. But, like, Ralph is not a fan of pranks. And he would not be happy. So I'm going to respect that he dislikes the pranks and not do them to him. But I do prank my mom a lot. That's somebody I'll, I'll prank. But not, I wouldn't put milk and magnesia in this shit. I ain't gonna lie. I'm over to my restaurant. <clears throat> 10 or so less years. I'm 19. Ego frosting over $10. We love your crab bowl. Give me a butter sauce recipe to go with it. Ego sauce, we appreciate you. Check out that butter sauce we made for the, uh, for the, uh, what we did? Snow crabs for the butter sauce. It was actually came out real nice, man. It came out really, really delicious. Check out that video. It, it was good. That butter sauce. Damn, that is not going to happen. Because then I'll be drunk off my butt. He said every comment that I read that makes me laugh, I have to take a shot. She can't hang. Tell that boy to turn that down. He's crazy. All right, so. Send out a bunch of PR, PR, P, PR packages. Uh, someone's going to notice that y'all both are a lot of fun. Daddy, do you have those pretty symbols? That was a PR package, man. I don't even know. I'm above Ralph the Baker's head. PR man. package. That's when you get, like, something sent into the mail, then they want you to review it, or want For you to, free? like... Well, so, so Probably out of business free. sending out free packages, bro. I mean, you could send one. I mean, you ain't that broke, bro. Quit lying. You ain't so broke, you can't send out one saying send out a bunch of somebody to notice you. I mean, I wish I would send out a bunch. I'd be like, hey, y'all, go find me and set up. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. I mean, playing. you can send out like 10. Nah, don't get that. Don't get that carried away. 10, you're getting kind of carried away on now. I mean, stop being a cheapskate, Ralph. Right. I'm going to tell you. You're about to hit the lottery tonight. I swear to God. If you, if you really know me in real life, the last thing I am is a cheapskate. I'm the end of fact, the one that pays for everything. If you go out, you go to a restaurant, and you go here. You, Sarah, tell you that. She'll be complaining. When you, you, you think you're rich, huh? So. Uh, Jacqueline said, I'd love a PR package. I'll review it for my 12 followers. Uh, I love you. You know what I mean? What? Jacqueline said she would love a PR box. She would review it for her 12 followers. <laughs> I know. If I had it like that, man, I'd be sending everybody free season in the hot sauce, Richard sent over $8. What's in the cup? Love from Tennessee. Rich, appreciate you. Uh, Jose Cuervo on water on, on ice with me. 
Sarah drinking claws, and she's babysitting, and then we've been doing shots every now and then. Sarah drinking Malibu, and then Jose for me. Oh, just ordered some spicy Cajun seasoning hot sauce like and a king cake. Can't wait. Thanks, y'all. That's a good one. You're going to like that. I'm guaranteed. The Big Easy Energy is fantastic. <laughs> we appreciate y'all. <laughs> Raul's face. <laughs> James, you know he ain't going to give out his Cajun seasoning recipe. Bro, I, I give y'all everything. I give y'all all my recipes. I can't give you that one. I, I give you that one. Boy. I can't give you this one. <laughs> Raul shattered an iceberg on the kitchen table before. <laughs> yeah, right? You should submit your king cakes and season in the QVC. Uh, we won't be able to keep up with production. We can't. We can't keep up with that production, man. But like I told you, when I was the one, one of the first ones that I seen come out with the cocoa bombs, I couldn't keep up with production, y'all. But I tell you what, that's how I bought Sarah's car, man, off cocoa bombs in one week. Made about $20,000 in a week. But it was a hell of a time. I was mounting hundreds of pounds of chocolate. Oh, Lord, have mercy, bro. Um, we need Ralph on Shark Tank soon, for real, y'all. I know, CBD. What is that, some smoke? No, CBD is... The vape? What? Um, no, like you can get it like the oil, or you can get it in edibles, I think. Or you can get it a couple of different ways, I believe. CBD we don't know much about it, but honestly. Order today. I mean, I think say, I think if you if you smoke, it's fine, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't, I don't, I don't because... Times I have was a long time ago, but uh, as I tell you what, when I did, I ain't really want to be too productive, and my life don't allow me to not be productive. I'm just the type of person, y'all, to be honest with y'all. I get up and I go. Sarah, I tell you, like I gotta go, gotta be doing this, gotta be doing that. I don't just sit around. I, for me, I know it ain't like that for everybody. Well, extract of weed. Yeah, so it's, it's like a vape pen, I guess. And now, now, like I told y'all, Sarah wound up, they wound up having, having to find a tumor in 2017 that Sarah had. And when Sarah had that tumor, they did an eight-hour surgery. They didn't know if it was cancer or not, whole stretch. Long story short, they took the tumor out. They had to take a part of our pancreas out. No more, uh, what's that other thing? Spleen. Took that out. And when Sarah got out, they gave her a bottle of pain medicine, the whole stretch. Pain medicine wasn't helping her. She was sick, man. One of my friends come through. He had a little smoke, you know. Sarah never been a smoker either, but I tell y'all what, God is my witness, y'all. I ain't even lie on this, bro. She smoked. She was in bed. I never forget it. She wouldn't even look good, bro. She wasn't eating. She wasn't doing nothing. She was sick. Probably was a good about ten days. She was barely hardly eating. Just drinking Gatorade a little bit. She smoked. Next thing you know, bro, she come downstairs. Hey, what's going on? She said, "Hey, baby, make me some food." Huh? Made her some food. He wound up giving her a little something, something. It brought her all the way back to life, bro. She wasn't nauseous no more. She wasn't sick no more. And she had an appetite, bro. It brought her back to life. And the things in the bottom, bro, she was able to throw away and didn't do anything for her anyway. And it killed her pain, bro. So I ain't got nothing bad to say on it, bro. I swear to that. That's the truth. Huh? No, I mean, yeah. I mean, medically, I totally believe in it. Recreational... It's just not our thing. We know a lot of right, people that do. Right, but if you're recreational, it's all good. I mean, that's cool fine. Up. It's just... But it, it literally brought Sarah back to life. Bro. I was like, wow. <clears throat> it doesn't need to be smoked. It comes in oil that be, can be consumed. True, true. Well, when Sarah smoked, it worked. I don't know about all that, but when Sarah smoked, it worked. I was desperate. Yeah, it worked though. I might go get my hair cut this week and bangs might go short a Sarah girl. All right, Shirley. We opening up a new restaurant, Go Saints. She, man, I got to get some money together for the opening restaurant, y'all. Thanks for sharing the recipes from Houston. All right, Houston, no problem. No problem Make at CBD all. Cajun food. We can't. Man, we ain't got nothing to work with with that, man. We ain't got it, y'all. I'm anti-smoking and drinking, but pro do you. That's what I'm saying. Like, you do. I am. Like, I drink. Sour drinks, but we just don't smoke. But if you like, we like you. Like, do you? Man, you ain't mad at you if you do it. Yeah. If we go to parades together, though, bro, you stand by yourself, bro, when them undercovers tackle you, bro. You're on your own, bro. Uh, <laughs> awesome. With the splen splenic removal, do you have antibiotics or meds now? No, I'm not on any medic long term medication or daily medication. However, I have a lot of issues with like fighting infection. Um, so that's an issue, like when I get an infection of any sort, it's really, like I was in the hospital for a week from like a tooth abscess 
because I can't fight it on my own. So that's the only real issue. And I can't eat some foods or bother some because of my pancreas. But other than that, I'm good. So South Carolina, I see you in the house. Hello. I used to get my dog's DVD oil. She purrs. <laughs> Y'all stupid. Uh, if I open up a restaurant, Nola, based on all your recipes, will you come review it and make as I make millions? Of course, Jacqueline. Jacqueline you know what's coming. I'll be there, Jacqueline. I'll be there. I'll be there to support you. I'll be there. <laughs> Wait. MT said I tried finding drugs off the French Quarter and I was ripped off. How can I avoid this next time? Just don't do it. Yeah. You Just ain't really gonna get it. nothing real out there, man. Be honest with you, you ain't gonna get nothing out there, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Uh, get yourself killed out there, would you get? Be honest with you. RTB is making that hat look nice. I appreciate y'all. Can you make you. a Japanese souffle pancake with your own twist to it? That'd be something nice. Ooh, is that that fluffy pancake? That'd be something nice. Let me take a screenshot of that. Ooh, I want that. Of. Let me take a picture of that. What's up, Canada? <laughs> you even got the camera on. Give me a damn second. I'll try not to get MD. Just stay home. Yeah. Just don't do it. It's highly recommended to not do it. Yeah. What's up, Texas? What's <clears throat> up, everybody? I want edible, Shirley said. <laughs> man, do I'll a chop challenge with Ralph. That's a video I've been wanting to do for Ralph. Is do a chop challenge. What the hell is a chop challenge? Like the show Chopped. You know when you get the basket and you don't know what's in it? And yeah, it's I know. Why don't we do that? You should. Well, but you're only going to be competing by yourself. Yeah, but I can see what I can come up with. And I'll film it. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. What's up, Kansas City? I'll come up with something stupid. <clears throat> Y'all are some good people just saying I wish I was your neighbor. Thank you, Dale. Yeah, we appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, we might have some houses available around here soon. Our neighbors is old, man. Neighbors local is old, food bro. reviews mix it up. We He has been doing the local food reviews. He did one today. Chaps Chicken was a good one. That was a good one. And that's on Meadow Road, y'all. And for real, it was good. Like, you want some good chicken? It was good. And you know what I liked about it? Be honest with y'all. Here we go. This is because... They care about what they're putting out. When you go there, you can't buy chicken under a heat lamp. That ain't how it works. When you go there and you order your food, they're going to fry it on the spot. And you got to wait 12 minutes, bro. You got to wait. But who minds waiting 12 minutes when you... Now, you can call it in and say, I'll be up there in 15 minutes. But if you show up there, it's 12 minutes. Chaps chicken, they're cooking it up fresh. Bro, I'm talking about when they give you the box, they leave the box open with steam rolling out of it. You know what I mean? Like, that's how you're supposed to be running your restaurant. But I was like, damn. All right, we got some more requests. Crepes. She's a great fool, man. I love grapes. Um, and a dewy sausage po' boy. That'd be nice too. All Ooh, right. that sounds good. Great How about making some Cajun sticky icky brownies? Just made some good brownies tonight. Sticky icky brownies. Right. <laughs> Cajun sticky icky brownies. We made some regular brownies. Like I got some right here. I just made. We just made them tonight. Trinidad style curry goat. Stop talking about bets in the French Quarter about where you got your shoes at. Bro, I don't fall for that. That's my brownies. This ain't her raggedy ass brownies, That's bro. That's Alyssa's brownies, to be honest with what? you. I, I just helped her. Or her. Mine. What's cracking from Mexico? Mexico. Y'all have something cooking for the Sunday game. What you cooking, babe? We're going to do the hot wings, fried pickles, mozzarella sticks, y'all. Recipe videos make a killing. Y'all think of man, what y'all think of Manchu chicken and rice is nasty and fries is bad. How they go wrong with fries, but the fried chicken and Manchu is good. I don't know if we've ever had it. Anything. How they go wrong with the fries? Who's taking a shot? Anybody? Let me know in the comments. How, how you go wrong? Them. That's backwards. How you go wrong with the fries? And right with the chicken. That, that, that is backwards, man. The brownies are flour free, y'all. I'm just saying. Let me ask. If Ralph had a restaurant, it would have more stars than all of Ramsey's shows combined. I don't and know. Now, thank you, Joe, for being here. Brownies yeah, Joe, good. we appreciate you, brother. They won't let me in the U.S. Why not? That sucks. I know. Well, Valley on the Hennessy. All right, Adam. All right, now. Fried pickles, yes. Cheers, Ralph. I went to the Cheers. French Quarter and had a guy walk up to me and started polishing sneakers. I had no idea what to do. Then he asked for a tip. I was super confused. 
Lots of hustlers and scams and gimmicks in the French Quarter. They target it's local people. They're hustling for money. <clears throat> and they target the tourists. They're going to say famous stuff like, I bet I can tell you where you got your shoes from. And then you go into it with them and then you lose because he tells you where it was at and blah, blah, blah. Where you got them from, which is what? What's the answer on your feet? Yep. And don't don't let nobody do that. If they want to polish your shoes, don't let them. I mean, unless you want your shoes polished and you're going to give them some money, but... It's a stuff. bunch of hustlers out there. You don't want to pile of shit, man. That's exactly what the guys asked me. <laughs> the don't just... This is the best thing you can do. This is what me and Ralph do. We tell them we're from here. And they immediately stop. They walk away and they don't ever come back. Just say, I'm just say I'm from here. I already know when they tell you that. Um, That's a good idea, all diva. Let your subscribers pick the stuff for the Chop Challenge. That's a good idea. He said, I bet I can tell you we got you from just by shaking your hand. That's right, Austin. Ooh, cashing out on about 20 Dungeness Crabs tomorrow. Um, baby, can I address, can I address something? Yeah, go ahead. But I just, I didn't know if you wanted me to say. Okay, so there's a question that somebody asked about Ralph shaking. Baby, can you ask him to turn it down, please? Um, this is often asked in the comments as well on TikTok and YouTube. Ralph does shake. Y'all ever notice in his videos, he shakes. He shakes a lot. Well, like, what? Your left hand shakes a little bit more than your right. But he's fine. He's been shaking since he was two. Nothing medically is wrong with him. He's fine. He's, it's just part of who Ralph is. I know some people ask out of like being concerned or whatever, concerned, but it's all, good. it's all good. Nothing's wrong with him. His mama done got him checked out when he was a kid. Doctor said he's fine. But once my time to go, I'll be gone. It probably won't be because of shaking. Right, but he's been doing it since like he was two. It's not like he's got some disease or something. He's just they said it's usually just like a nervous system problem. And honestly, a couple of his does it. Don't yeah, I was gonna it. say a couple of his cousins have it. It'd be my all right. son, I'll survive it. My son is kind of the same way. Um, his grandma does, but it's good. It's all good. People are dealing worse shit than that. Okay, it's all good. Yeah. I had to explain to the cops the time or two. Why, why are you shaking, son? Oh, yeah, people always think he's nervous. Is usually like a reason why people think he'll shake, like he's nervous, but he's not. He just. You just don't have a steady hand. That's just really it. This one, this one. Yeah, I was going to say your left one shakes a little bit more than your right. That's it? Yeah. Here's what it is. That's me. That's part of me. You know what I mean? It's all good. Ralph from What's Raphael. What's up, Raphael? What's happening? <laughs> Man, y'all leave him alone. I shake too. That's what I'm saying. I mean, sometimes people bring it up and it kind of aggravates me. It, it, it is what it, it aggravates me. Mean, it is what it is, bro. Well, because sometimes I find, like, people bring it up in comments and it's kind of like, it's a recipe, so why even ask? Because what does it have to do with the video? But then I kind of get protective, and I know some people are just I'm just curious. like, it don't matter. It is what it is. I don't, I don't answer it many times because I'm like, I ain't going to pay a fucking attention to it. It is what it is. Anyway, you ready? You poured another one? I mean, if you call that a shot, I gave you Bailey. You gonna have to <coughs> pass that before like the live ends, baby. Man, yeah, three little baby shots. You're even drinking your white cloth. You know, people are just. <laughs> I mean, it's all it's all good positivity, but that's why I asked y'all first. It's all good. Cause it's personal, you know. It ain't shit personal. I don't give a shit. It is what it is. You know, I've been been like this my whole life. It is what it is. Uh, you gonna see me shake a little bit in my videos? It is what it is. If you enjoy the videos, you enjoy them. The food is still bomb now. It's all good. So cheers. <laughs> We're all mad as you move. <laughs> Lord. Everybody has something. What is White Claw? White Claw is a sparkling water that is infused. No, get it out the camera. That is infused with alcohol. I have not found and figured out what type of alcohol it is yet because it doesn't list it. It don't? No. Is it a vodka? A wine spritzer? 
Y'all are too crazy. <laughs> White Claw is vodka. I never knew that. Alright, well. Love it's me. beer, Sarah, I told you. <laughs> you need five to get tipsy. What? She don't never drink five. It's brewed. To me, it tastes like sparkling water, literally. It don't even taste like liquor. How's the Vietnamese food down here? Uh, it's, it depends where you go. They got some good spots. Down in the east. You have to go down in the east to get some good stuff. Yeah, the east is At not the end of the good, tour, But then you got to risk your life to get there. So it all just depends how dangerous you want to get. But yeah, it just depends. If it does the job. Let's go. I mean, it's some Cajun blood. Some Houston, bro. Texas. I might be in Texas in March at a restaurant up there. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Stick the butter. What about Chinese food? Oh, uh, they Chinese got a couple food. of Chinese, a couple of spots that got some good Chinese food. It's a, that's another Not thing. Really. It depends where you go. It I'm going to tell you, lately. we, and this is my opinion, we specialize in the best Asian food, soul food, etc. But one way, one thing, ex at least in my experience, that we lack in is like other foods outside of. We're getting some good Cajun Mexican food. restaurants coming. Yeah, we have been getting some upgrades in like, well, not just span, not just Mexican, but like Hispanic food in general. We've recently gotten Stupid some like Hispanic though. grocery stores with like not authentic. Recently, but it been within the years, last couple man. years. Nah, what in the last five years? Dumb dog out, man. Yeah, so like, I feel uh, yeah. like we lack an authentic food from other cultures. But we have amazing food from here. That's just my opinion. Have you ever been over to Lafayette? Yes. We have some good Cuban food in Tampa. Shrimp fried rice. Some people don't even shake and can't cook shit. That's, I know. I get, Ralph, Ralph is a little sensitive about it. Why are you going around? Oh, I thought you were New Orleans is a mix. Yes, now we do have a mix of everybody, which is amazing. We have a lot of mixed cultures in Louisiana in general, just especially in New Orleans. Well. But I just don't feel like it's, I don't know. That's just my opinion. Maybe I don't know, like, the good spots to go to for, like, the real Asian food, the real Hispanic food, or the real, I've never had Indian food. I don't know where, like, a really good, authentic Indian restaurant is. That's just my opinion. <laughs> uh, thank you, Melly. I never noticed. They better leave my little Noah brother alone. Don't make Sarah hold my wig. Fight somebody. <laughs> uh, Ralph, bring Sarah to the West Bank for Chinese. I'll send y'all in the right direction. Lord, y'all missing out. Where is it at, Shirley? Yeah, what you talking about, Shirley? Uh, thank you, Ashley. So number five, my kids get annoyed when people ask about his conditions. He noticed the tremors and made him feel good that someone else is a little different too. Yeah, it's the way it is. You know what I'm saying? It's the way it's, it is. What it is. You know. Uh, you gotta understand. You know, and and, and I got. I, I feel like I got tougher skin than Sarah. I mean, I'm used to it. I see it. I got almost a half a million followers in total. You know what I'm saying? On all platforms. Uh, you get, I meet a lot of, I mean, I meet a lot of beautiful people, but God knows, I get my fair share of idiots. Y'all just don't see it because I delete it. A lot it of off. trolls, guys. Sometimes I leave it. Sometimes I delete it. Sometimes I just curse them out and say, I tell them they shouldn't do that. But I explain to it, I'm just human as well. But I try not to, to uh, give them what they want. So a lot of times I just block them. But the point being is, you are who you are. Nobody's perfect. And it is what it is. You know what I mean? It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm still just as good at what I do Well, I shake how I don't. It is what it is. You know? And, uh... I like you, Shaky. Yeah, that's, it is what it's it is. It's who you are. Yeah. You wouldn't be you without that, though. Without that characteristic. Yeah, it's because you know me all my life like that, but... But I'll tell you this. When I met you, I did notice it, but it, like, literally never crossed my mind as to it being a issue or something for me to ask of you most well, people that are looking for it to be an issue yeah but it like and i seen it and i just figured you just yes. i figured you was nervous to meet me it, it re <laughs> <laughs> i was like it, it, it really I, I mean it really don't bother me and i mean even when i was younger in school and shit like nobody never told me nothing and uh things of that nature like you weren't bullied for it or nothing like that nope 
I went and busted her ass, bro. I was, I was kind of a delinquent back in the day. No, you wasn't. Your mama said you were so good. I was good, but I, I mean, I had my issues. I had my situations go down, but it's all good. Y'all silly. <laughs> Can we move on from the shakes? Ain't nothing wrong with shaking, Shirley said. Be yourself. Butter or margarine? Both. Butter's expensive, bro. Give me some margarine, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. If I had to buy butter every day, I'd be broke as hell, man. Margarine. Butter's good, but man, oh, it's Oh, I'm so sorry, Ashley. She said we literally... ...burned in treatment every month for five years. People are crazy sometimes. I'm so sorry, Ashley. I'm sorry about that. It's horrible, man. We have, we have kids that... um. I have some, not physical disabilities that you can see, but so we definitely understand. Ralph know. from Pennsylvania. What does a crab ball taste like? Damn, what does a crab ball taste like? Uh, Wait, no, no, we don't have any connection. Yes, on my computer. Not my oh, uh, what does a crab ball taste like? It's spicy. It's How bomb. You, it's, you gotta have it's serious. It. It's really, really good. I've um, seen some girl on TikTok she said it looks like dirty mop water when we boil our food. I boil our seafood. But it's like very, it's like the idea of a stock almost, like a seasoned stock. And it gets all in your food. To me, and I never like to talk bad about people up north because I haven't been up north to try it. But I don't understand the aspect of pouring your seasoning on your crab shell. Yeah, we get it in. I get it up in there. I don't know. But I never had it like that, so maybe it's good like that. Now, I do got some Old Bay. Somebody sent me down here. Old Bay to me, honestly, now you got to understand. I, I I don't know. I'm just going to give you my opinion on Old Bay. Old Bay to me reminds me a lot of, uh, like, ramen noodles. Like, you got ramen noodle packets. That's what it tastes like to me. Uh, I don't know. That's my opinion. I don't know. Okay? I never had it. I never had steamed crabs or nothing like that with that. Everything down here is boiled. Father, no, I don't think I got pulled up here, man. So I, it's hard to explain what it tastes like. It's good, man. I'm going to tell you that right now. Crab boy is freaking really good, y'all. Tell Sarah you did here, man. Sarah, where you at? The Wi-Fi is out. How do you mean the Wi-Fi is out? I don't know. The Wi-Fi, the, the box is just going to... Oh, it's gonna... What's up, Will guys? We'll do a food uh, travel vlog after Corona. <clears throat> that that sounds fun. That sounds pretty interesting. That that'd be pretty nice to go around and try it out. We'll you have to read it from here because everybody's Wi-Fi's out. I gotta try and fix it. How do you know? Wi-Fi's working, mom. Everybody's working. What that? The box is out. So I don't know how it's working. Mine's working now on my PlayStation. Uh, possibly. Uh, we'll see. You know. Uh, hopefully they get Corona under control and we ain't gotta deal with this shit for much longer. Man, this has been so long, y'all. It's been. God, it's been a long time. It seems like, man, Corona just don't want to go, man. And, uh, terrible situation. Terrible. Y'all bear with me for a second here, guys. I'm coming. Trying to see what the hell's happening. You're talking about the Wi-Fi is all the time. I don't know. So that's the last comment I got is from Pennsylvania. Hold on, guys. We are coming. I don't know what to do here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have to read from me. Can't see it from them. Hey guys, I'm sorry about a phone. It could be cool to see you in California, especially in Louisiana, for a food guide. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That that would be awesome, something like that for sure. Uh, I mean, like I say, I mean, I'm gonna go to some different places and try out some food, y'all, and give you my honest opinion on what it is. And we'll see, we'll see what it, how it turns out and what it is. But we're gonna definitely do some things of that nature for sure. How often do we go live? This is my first time watching y'all live, and I watch all of your videos. I appreciate you so much. We go live every Friday here on YouTube, and I do lives on my TikTok and my Instagram, okay? So Ralph the Baker 101 on Instagram, and of course Ralph the Baker on TikTok. But you're only really going to catch me live on TikTok. I don't even really upload too much there because, I mean, shorts, you can only do so much when you're doing shorts. You just can only do so much. There's this, you know, 60 seconds sounds like a lot. It's just like a lot, you know what I mean? So that's why I kind of like, I'm blessed yeah. that I was able to do this it's on TikTok, on YouTube. Bad? I mean, the wind's not that bad. 
Because I'm wondering if that's why our, our Wi-Fi is like out completely. Like the box is not blinking. Mom, what the says, yeah. Your Wi-Fi is having trouble. The Wi-Fi is having trouble? Can we log on and hit him? Is squid boil a thing? No. I ain't never heard of a squid boil. Be yeah. honest with you. We don't eat squid. But I've never heard of squid boil. Nah, people eat squid, man. We don't eat squid. I mean, squid. yeah, they eat squid, but not like no not like how we gonna do with like crawfish. No, nah, it's like crawfish ball, shrimp ball, crab ball, okay? That's how that goes. We about moving into crawfish ball seasoning. Season. Yeah, it's almost it's about like rubber. Oh, yeah, I would imagine if you boiled a squid, it'd be like rubber. Yeah. I don't even know how you cook a squid. You can fry squid. Had them fried, kind of chewy. Dungeness crab and blue crab difference in this from snow crab. They mm. all are different. Blue crab's really good, man. You get some good Louisiana blue crab, man, it's good stuff. It's so good, y'all. It's good. It's a little bit expensive, but it's good. Hi, right, y'all. I'm out. Gotta go have a great night. Thank right, you, Dale. You. Thank you, Dale, for joining in. Hey, Ralph. What's up, y'all? Do a pig roast. Ooh, tell him about the time he did a pig roast, Ralph. The whole pig. Shit, man. Y'all don't, don't, don't know know about that, bro. I, I went down on the whole pig, man. Uh, tell you what, it was about 100. I don't know how big this pig was. He was big, bro. Like, maybe he was like... Might have been like about an 80-pound pig. I tied up a... Uh, put a pole. Man, it was, just, it was terrible. It was just disgusting, man. It wasn't even... It wasn't even remotely good. I'm trying to see if I can see the comments. How the hell does this work? Sarah, I see the live, but I don't see the comments. Mayday. You gotta click on live chat. I'm, I'm watching. Right, hold on, y'all. Bear with me, because I'm trying to see the comments. Hold on. Sarah's saying click on live chat. What the hell is she talking about? <laughs> Bro, you're going to be you're gonna be a victim of drinking on lives, man. Daddy. Hold on. Cause I need to know what. Oh, I see live. I mean, I, why? I see it, bro, but I don't see it. Let me see. There you go. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. What pig you get? All right. So the pig <laughs> I did was terrible, man. That thing didn't have no seasoning to it, man. It was, man, it Ralph sucked. Rose. Wait, Ralph. Let me tell y'all what he did. Okay. He got two ladders, like this. You put two step ladders up. <laughs> I'm all up in here. Yeah, hello, I'm Mayday. Sarah, come save us. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. I got to back up a little bit because I'm all in these people's face. All right, he put two step ladders together like this, right? Then he put like a plank across the two step ladders. Then he like drilled something to hang the pig all the way down. The two step ladders was the brace. And the pig went down over the fire for like... Oh, 30 I, hours. I rolled that pig, bro. I roasted him, man. What's up, North Shore? Oh, man, that pig, bro. I was so working on that poor pig, and, and it was it disgusting. It was terrible. It was terrible, It was man. terrible. Terrible pig, man. Ralph, you got any restaurants you recommend working at? And Nola, I'm moving to the east side, but don't mind commuting if it's legit. I'm going to tell you where to go. What's the name Like, no. Wait, I think they mean working at, not eating. Talk to me. Tell me if you're looking for a job, you're looking to eat. Looking to eat or for a job? You got any You got any restaurants you recommend working at in NOLA? I don't know. We're not, we don't, we've never worked in the food industry like in a What's restaurant. in the red cup? She's drinking White Claw. I got uh, uh, Jose Cuervo on water. Mom, it's okay if I watch. Oh, it's working now? Oh, okay, good. Do you ship to Canada? So the seasonings are international? Yes. Um, everything else is not because it's the other. Well, when the cookbooks are released again, the physical cookbooks, that would be international in the seasonings. But like any type of food item is not because of customs holding it for a while. We, we don't want the stuff to spoil, you know, for anybody international. But the seasoning is. But not the king cakes. And not the call. Sarah, but I got it rolling on this phone right here. I'm just oh, saying. it is? Well, I think the Wi-Fi is working in this time. Yeah. You ready for a shot? No. I can't do any more shots. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. It's not on Amazon, but it is on Ralph's website. Oh, my legs. That he oh. has on, um... 
that he has on, it's linked in the description or it's bakery101.com. Um, is Sarah's chicken for sale on a website yet? I cannot sell that, Jacqueline, on the website because I would have to have you sign a waiver first. Can y'all make your own version of chopped cheese and make sure you shout out all of the acts? Nate, what is chopped cheese? Thank you, BW, sent over five. Ralph, when I come to NOLA to visit, is there a place to get fresh, warm cracklings that you or gratins that you recommend? <laughs> Sarah's almost done. Um... BW, Billy's is really good. Shirley, where's that other place that you go to get cracklings that's real good? Ralph's Kitchen. I'll get you on some cracklings. Ralph makes some good cracklings. But there's some place I want to say the North Shore Shirley told me about. On North Shore? So that's where she told me. Man, you want Shirley lying, man. Daddy. Ashley said, can we go swinging and ding a ling again? Ashley! Ashley, we can definitely go swinging. Ryan these cracklets. And we can hand. definitely go swinging and ding a ling again. That's going to be on Instagram. Dad, my teacher tired out your, uh, your grits and grits. Your teacher tried out the shrimp and grits recipe? She watched Daddy on YouTube? Did she like the shrimp and grits? And All she right. said it was good? Thomas Bourgeois was right. that right. awesome. Thank you for supporting us. <laughs> Bro, I should be on job. I can't remember Angela. Bro, the teachers are stalking Ralph. The kids' teachers Why is found Sarah out. Why on a simple question like that? What's your favorite food? You a moderator on there? I don't fucking know. Oh, no, that's yours. That's why it's doing that. Show? Glass eyeball. My favorite food. Mine is going to be barbecue shrimp. Sarah's is. Um, Love you, Ralph. Just know I've been here from the beginning when you blow up, so maybe you can add me to one of your shows. All right, Russell? I don't know about that, man. It would we'll be see. nice to see you in LA doing food. Yeah, that'd be nice, man. We'll Tell Miss Boudreaux no watching after seven. <laughs> oh, shit. You ain't lying. Ain't Miss Bourgeois. Bourgeois. She might be on now. Wait, hold on. Miss Bourgeois, if you are currently watching this, Please don't judge me <laughs> as a mother. At the, yeah, right? <laughs> Please disregard the rhino discussion that we had. And I will email you Tuesday when class resumes. Thank you for teaching my son and please give him an A. Thank you. <laughs> she already heard you call Ralph Smell down. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. We got a steak video up there, y'all. I showed you how I do it on a skillet as well as I showed you how I did that, that uh, tomahawk steak. Wow, moderator's a rough job, bro. Show high, show high, show high. Thank oh, you, shoot. Tavers family for, for the Tavers, five dollars. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And I see the uh, they got some rhinos up in there. Yeah, Shirley is my girl. She's my BFF. Like, like she's my real friend in real life. Saints or Bucks? Saints, man. man what you, you mean? You know what I'm saying? It's about to take them down, man. Oh shoot. What you mean? What you trying to what make us? What's my favorite fish? I ain't mad. I'm gonna tell you. I like some good wild caught Louisiana wild caught catfish, man. I like to put on. The, I like some black and catfish. Ah oh, man. Talking about good, bro. Y'all gotta watch that video. I'm telling you. See when y'all start talking like that, I start getting hungry, man. That black and catfish, shit. Sup, sir? I'm telling you, y'all. I promise. Even redfish is good. Boy, that chuck, chuck back. You guys remember me, how the international shipping going? Chuck, Chuck, we got the international shipping going on the seasonings only. Got it going, because I told them, you knew a guy in customs, you was going to handle that for us, you was going to be our muscle with the customs guy, because I remember you, you said you was going you was gonna to rough him up if need be, so I went ahead and took a leap of faith that you was going to have my back. Just saying. Go say to that. Oh, yeah. Have you made a video on the black and catfish? Uh, yeah, I did. I did a video on the black and catfish. Man, that, that's so good, y'all. Man, I wish I had some right now. Damn. Me and Sarah rock hard. That's right, Shirley. Ralph, go swing a ding a ling and after the, we spank the bucks, y'all. <laughs> bro, why y'all trying to get Ralph in divorce court? What's no time? Wait, today's Friday night, bro. They open and popping right now. We might have to take a Uber down now. No, no, we can't. We got the boys. Good morning, come down. No, I'm not doing all of that. You done lost your mind. 
Why do you have the accent? You ever made black and seafood pasta? I've made it before. Man, that's some good stuff. Yeah. Well, black and shrimp. Yeah. As she said, she's 100% getting a shirt that says swinging, swinging and ding a ling -ing. Should we put that on the merch? Ashley, bro, you're trying to get us in trouble, man. We're going to be in trouble putting that on there. YouTube has to approve that. Ashley said over five. Thank y'all again for helping me, my girlfriend, becoming my personal shop. Just got engaged. Just Xmas. All right, Ashley. I hope you and your girlfriend live a beautiful, long life together, and y'all are so happy, and y'all have lots of love, and all your dreams come true. We love you and appreciate you, Ashley. Yeah, we definitely do. That's awesome. Man, that means we just old, bro. That was so many years ago for us, man. Shit, man. We old, bro. Sarah, you already trying to out lady as a bum all y'all said. Shirley said, I wanted to get a, some paintings of oysters to put right here because I'm remodeling my kitchen. And she said it looked like, you know. What? Like, for a woman. Down there. Downtown. Really? You turn it all red. <laughs> What's up, Premier Nissan? You all bets? <laughs> oh shit, man! Last chat, dingaling went private. Hold on, That's true. Y'all know that dingaling, bro. Y'all know Ashley, bro. You know that set on private, man. We getting there. That's why I'm using code talk. I ain't doing a good job. For me and Misson. I didn't said Misson. You know I didn't drink too much. <laughs> no, they did. They said Premier Misson. I said Misson. <laughs> Ralph, oh, Ralph that looks like he's got some Rams colors. He secretly likes the Rams. No. Hell no. Man. And match his shirt he bought the other day. Quit trying to put him I in that category. His shirt the other day. We, we despise the Rams. I think we despise the Rams more than the Dirty Birds. Yeah. Damn. After close. Damn Ruffs. Ragged ass Ruffs. That's why I bought a list of that shirt the other day. Chuck, Chuck, you know what a dingling is. Be quiet. Like you wasn't in that live. <laughs> He was probably in that live for sure. He was in that live for sure. I know he was in that live. He's lying. He's trying to get us in trouble. <laughs> oh, uh, minimum order for shipping. Nah, no minimum. Whatever you want, you go order. That's all. No big deal. It's no big deal. Whatever you want. Uh, have I done taco? Yeah, we did some tacos, huh? Ralph, go on your message, as Shirley said. What the hell, Shirley? Let me just tell Shirley. I bet y'all get crazy. Like, we don't get too crazy. Dinglings and <laughs> this is the best live chat ever. Jeffrey, I can't say it out loud. Man, how that looks like that, bro? Y'all, y'all. She said that, right, she bro. told me if I buy that and put it up over our heads, we're gonna have women's vajayjays over our heads. Where you see that at? I said it looked like a oyster. That's why I wanted to buy it. Cause I was gonna do like some like. Louisiana theme stuff in the kitchen when I remodeled it and I like the fancy oysters. Um, Dad, I actually remember, don't remember what it did. <laughs> See? They said that looks like the... You heard it, no. You heard it, Sarah. Who's Emily? What happened? I don't know. They said... What, Emily? OMG, TMI, Emily? Who's Emily? Wait, did Emily, I Emily, what it? you done said? Nah, hold up. I just tried in totally different way. Oh! Whoa, where are we at? Never mind, I ain't reading that online. That shit got blocked. Did you get it? I can't. I can't do it on this account. Uh. Probably be WD your own spell, Raymond. No, I mean, basically, we did that with the, uh. The, uh, what you call it? Zip <laughs> the JJ looks like that. Go see a doctor. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe that's why I didn't understand how that could look like that. Do you watch UFC? Yeah, I like UFC. We um, like UFC, MMA, or is that the same thing? UFC is yeah, Shirley, MMA. I don't know. Shirley, get on your damn fucking job, man. What's wrong with you, woman? Ooh, Ralph's getting snappy with do Shirley. Do what you're supposed to do, Shirley. You're supposed to block the shit. You gotta block the shit, Ooh, man. Ooh, chopped cheese is basically chopped up hamburger on a... Hero roll, you can't have a chopped cheese without the bev. Oh, you gotta drink it with the Arizona tea, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. That sounds good though, really. Ralph is from Uptown New Orleans. French onion soup recipe, do it. That's a good one. 
So he's made a video for it. I like French onion soup. Yeah, anyone under the age of 13 may want to dip out and out of this live. Ooh, she said you better calm down. She's not. She said you don't want to fight. Do she said you don't do, want bro. this smoke because you don't want these hands because she's going to beat you up. It's on the chat. She wants to fight, bro, instead of <laughs> blocking people like she's supposed to be. The best cheesesteak had was in Nova. I'm just playing Shirley. I don't give a damn. Where at? Online legit strategies? What you mean? I know a little store down there's got some surfing turf, man. The best one you ever had in your no, life. No, you talking about cheesesteak, I know, but I just went to that because it reminded me of that. How does cheese they remind you of surfing turf? I don't know, bro. I'm just telling you what it reminded me of. Shirley acting like a Karen. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh James came after you, Shirley. Oh. Ralph, show us how to make some French bread. Yeah, some French bread, man. That's some good stuff. She said I'm I black people I, I was busy when you went. Y'all, but I ain't no professional French bread, man. They make French bread out here so good, man. It's hard to like, it's hard to get it like that. It really is. It's, it's a rough one, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Neto, we cannot, if your boyfriend don't know what that is, you better leave him. I'm just saying, just, just drop him off top. Keto recipe is getting popular. Yeah, it is. Y'all gotta getting. read Brenda Beaver's Lisa Barber to your kids. You won't regret it. All right, Nate. I'm a, I don't know what that's about. Ain't no getting, man. Keto been big. Do you shop at doorknaps? Mm -mm. Too expensive. Too expensive, man. Sarah, Sarah got street cred. Screw keto. <laughs> I respect that. Screw, screw keto. Blue shit. Blue for life. Oh, shit, man. Oh, my God. We're going for another drive. We're going to definitely do that. Follow me on Instagram, y'all. Ralph the Baker 101. You're going to catch more lives there. I only do a live here on Friday, but I'm probably live four or five times a week. Do you guys plan on making YouTube videos for a while? I'm going to make YouTube videos as long as people are watching them. Whether that be one year, five years, ten years, twenty years. You know, continue making them. I like it. You know what I mean? It's fun. I've been on TikTok for almost a year. So, I mean, it's fun. It's a good time. Someone said, relationship and cooking advice, please. Shit, I don't know about no damn cooking advice. You got to watch the videos. Relationship advice. You got to ask Sarah. What uh, you mean? Sarah ask drinks it? White Claws. I drink uh, Jose Cuervo. Advice to give in our marriage? Oh, shit, shit ain't right. I don't know how this shit to do it. You don't know how to do it. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Just uh, hope you have a forgiving partner, basically, is what he's trying to get at. My wife's name is Sarah. Alright, no, alright. Alright, go Sarah. I'm dying laughing. Those prawns are expensive, man. Damn, I don't know, man. Prawns is just like jumbo shrimp to me. They look like BW Cinema 5. Ralph, what's your favorite smoked sausage for gumbo and jambalaya, etc.? I would say, honestly, uh, how you said, man, D, how you, how you say Mandas. Mandas? Mm -hmm. Or double D's? I like double D's by myself. Mandas, I don't know. I'm going to go with Mandas over double D's. It gets you some Mr. T's. <laughs> some what? Mr. T's. No, I would say Mandas. Double yeah, D's. Sarah says double D's over manners. I say manners over double D's. But say either or you want to go. Uh, yeah, Ralph, you get your YouTube play button for 100 grand. I don't know, man. It's disrespecting Ralph the Bigger. They told me I ain't earned that, that day yet. I ain't got no play button, man. Damn it. I know. When they sending that to you in the mail? Yeah, I do watch UFC. Uf, UFC, yeah, I do watch that. Double D's is better on a grill, yeah. Nah, my cousin, that. my cousin is a professional UFC fighter. He is, but you know what? He ain't paying for no shot on, so he ain't getting one. <laughs> Why are you playing on my cousins, bro? I ain't playing on them. Would he give me something? He might. Yeah, I'm not with Why bro, not? He did answer that phone call that day. God forgive me. Yeah, remember he Lord, helped hope, Cody? Damn, bro, this video's up for life, bro. Damn. Tell him you're sorry. Sorry about that, brother. Don't, don't come UFC me, man. I was just joking. Bro. <laughs> he said don't come UFC me. I was just joking, bro. You know I was playing, man. You know I love you and your brother. I was just joking, bro. Yeah, remember that? He was so nice and he talked to, he talked to Cody. Yeah, he did, bro. He did answer the phone call. What's his name? Diego? <clears throat> yeah. Why are you playing? 
Damn, bro, I gotta edit. Can, I, can you edit a live, bro? Y'all please tell me I can edit this, man. Damn. Dude, there ain't no going back, bro. Uh, I gotta set it to private now and talk stupid, bro. His name's Diego, man. Diego, I don't know. Diego <laughs> Lama, what is wrong with you? Diego you Lama, bro. Fucking Diego Lama, bro. Kind of like, you know, what show was that? When they wanted to, was that on Blow? When they wanted to know his name, he's like, you know what? This is his name. All right, his name is Diego. Diego Lama, that's the name. Bro. Brother's Chicken, man. Brother's Chicken's working with something. I love some Brother's Chicken, man. That sounds good right now. Them seasoned fries? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are funny, Rob. Y'all two are very funny. And we're glad you're enjoying it, man. Really, we are. Yeah, why you playing on my cousin, bro? Uh, we're going mud. Oh, what the hell is a mud? What they going to do? Mud. Mud in the truck. Oh, y'all going to ride the truck in the mud? I like to do that, yeah. I've seen that done before. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. I ain't much for going in the mud. Why are you uh, like, oh, you ever been mudding? Shit, man. What if I go in a deep mud, man? Boom, under the water. All the big, it's done, bro. That'd be a hell of a way to go, bro. Nah. <laughs> you gonna stay away from mud? Ralph, we need a uh, recipe for some good seafood dip. I got y'all on a seafood dip. I done showed y'all the crab dip, crawfish dip. Hey, man, look at the damn videos. Nah, chuck them yeah, they, or you can mix them all together. <clears throat> I work at Premier Pr Nissan. At on Veterans, huh? Brothers Chicken. Yeah, I agree with that. Premier Nissan. Ain't that, uh, what's his name, family and all that that I know? Ain't that, uh, what's his, uh, uh, Russell and, uh, the Heartlines? Yeah, but I don't think they work at No, they Nissan. work at the, they work at the Nissan right next door to the Brothers. Duh, that's why they're saying Brothers. They want that turn us down on that finance plan, bro. They just wouldn't take my, they wouldn't take me, bro. <laughs> Man, screw that, that damn Nissan, bro. They told me my credit wasn't right enough, man. Knew that was a ragged ass for me when oh I went God. there, bro. What's live channel? Yeah, you work at that one right across the street from the apartment complex right next door to Brothers. Yeah, that's why you're saying that, brother. But that Brothers chicken is good, man. I ain't gonna lie. But you tell your car, you tell your car lot, you was manager, get his mind right, man. My credit score is a 540, bro. <laughs> that's true. Nah, you know, 540, man. I'm a little bad. I'm a little... That was like a, ew, no, back then it was like a 523. Might have been a, a 420. Oh. <laughs> Pushing for 420 hard. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Shame I'm allergic to crab. All your crab recipes look so nice. Yeah, that's so Damn, I got a 520. <laughs> Man, credit ain't shit, man. I mean, it is, man. It just ain't easy. It just ain't easy to get, man. No, it's easy to mess up. <laughs> Give me some credit. I'll show you how to handle it up real quick. <laughs> Ralph can't fish. He got his pick on the wall. Oh, man. They got me on that wall. Now, I'm going to get out of that, man. Ralph does not have a brother. I'm very sorry, ladies. He only has three mean sisters. I got a brother, man. Where you got a brother at? A brother from another mother. Yeah, okay. He's my twin. Best credit score is a zero. <laughs> Oh my oh, god. Oh shit, man. Seven thirty. Alright, Callie. Alright, Callie, Misfit. I see you. Alright, Misfit, listen. All right. Right. I gotta I talk see. with you, Misfit. We gotta talk. Alright. <laughs> Hit the DM on the gram. We gotta talk about this 739. <laughs> Cause uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Alright, Misfit. 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 806. Man, we got people in here that's doing responsibilities and stuff. They pay their bills on time Man, and everything. Negative 44. <laughs> I'm with you, bro. Negative 44, bro. We got to keep reeling out. But they doing too much with these big high scores, man. Oh, my God. I'm a loan officer. I can hook you up. So I'll tell you what, if you can go in there and I'll tell you what, hook that up. I'll Look, tell you Matt and Brooke, if you could just go in there and be like, do, 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 do. You know. Do some stuff. I don't know if you can get it to Experian it. right quick for us. No, 320. <laughs> Damn, M3, dog. Damn, Wait, what Shirley said? Shirley said, he probably can't hunt because they ain't got his pick on the wall from fishing. Ralph does not hunt. Ralph does not fish. <laughs> 420, you and me, bro. We, we rolling up together. We're going to get better, bro. I'm tired of being in the red, man. God Damn, bro. Credit score is a very huge thing in the U.S., <laughs> Chuck Chuck. <clears throat> yeah. you, you ain't getting nothing. Period. You ain't getting a house, a car. You ain't getting a sofa. I mean, if you want to finance it, unless you want to 
pay full out in cash. I mean, that's the only way you do it. I don't know how other countries do it. Y'all are badass. Keep riding hard, brother. Thank you. <laughs> but my word is solid. <laughs> For real. I'm telling you, man. Word is solid as hell. Yeah. All right. Let's see. I know, bro. How do these people got 800 credit scores? I didn't even think that was possible. Yeah, bro, Louisiana, I thought you bro. could like only top it at like 780 or something. Not these like 850. What? <laughs> you you raggedy, that. bro. You don't call me raggedy, bro, for no reason around here, bro. I earned that name, bro. You was I earned that alive. name, bro. Look, see, 850, bro. Bro. 800. That's just. Pay your house, then it's over. I'll tell you what. You got that 800, hit your boy Ralph up. I got 800 credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get your money right. No, you gotta pay your bills uh, on time. Man. But you know what? Better than that, y'all. My, I mean, I got a better credit score than that. I think I really got like 550. <laughs> but I ain't never borrowed shit in my life. Never. That's a lie. What I borrow? Bro, you got a whole credit card you maxed out. Nah, I got, I got $1,200 shit in my credit, literally. Oh, yeah, you ain't got like, no I bad. don't have any bad credit, is my point. Even through making millions of dollars, I still never had good credit. I got student loans. Sarah's got student loans. Me, I just never, ever lived on credit. Never, ever. Never lived on credit cards. Never lived. Don't even know how that life is. If I got it, I got it. If I don't, I don't. I either got my EBT in my pocket or I don't, <laughs> bro. It's the way it is, okay? He said EBT. Either I got cold cash or I ain't got it. If I ain't got it, I don't get it. That's the bro, way it is. Bro, you goes. from Kenner, bro. Yeah, that's true. I've been in Kenner, man. I live in Kenner, bro. I either got it or I don't, bro. Plain and simple. That's clean. Straight up. I, I don't need no credit cards and shit like that. But I do need to get my credit right, bro. But I don't need no credit cards. Yes, yeah, student loans will affect your credit in the United States of America. They put... We get in debt when we're 18 years old. They give us all the debt we want to go to school. We put ourselves in $100,000 of debt to make 30000 a year. And can't Shit. pay it off. I'm just saying. Drink a beer with you guys. All right. Now we appreciate it. That's, that's another bun. I lost my sauce, man. That reminded me back in the day, man. I was telling Sarah, me and my dad. My dad, my mom and dad, they still together and shit like that. Me and my dad, man, we do siding together, man. I was young. I wasn't worth a damn with working, but we go down to the corner store. We'd be in a lot of the hoods in New Orleans and, you know, growing <laughs> up back then. And uh, me and my dad, man, we go get us a... Uh, a hot sausage po' boy, man. We each take half of it, you know. And uh, so now every time I eat hot sausage, y'all, bro, Ralph does not get EBT. I will. I need an EBT for real. But I would like. To I see they got it. a stimulus EBT right now, right? What for real? I, no, I like for well, why we didn't get that? We got the stimulus check. Too much money. Too much. The little bit we got is too much, bro. Damn. Pickled eggs, I see you. I'm gonna definitely show you. We need them stamps. We get we in this thing out of When I was a kid, bro. Right. When I was a kid, man, times were rougher, man. We used to have the uh my mama have a food stamp back. <laughs> bro, <laughs> your mama's like, gonna slide in. This is 35 years ago, man. Mama done came up and like mom drives a beautiful truck, great credit, mom. But this is back in the day. Anyway, I'm gonna tell y'all. I'll shit. sell y'all something two for one. No, this is like uh <laughs> this is like a like a uh Size of a checkbook, if I can remember correctly. Like, you rip off a dollar. And then I take, mama give like me like. Monopoly money, huh? Yeah, my mama give me about a good $2, and I go down to the corner store, get the piece of candy for 20 cents or 30 cents, like some little bubble gums for 5 cents a piece. Choose some bubble gum, get the rest of it, and cash, and I go to the store. Yeah, that's what I do. 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 Yeah, that's Give him another food stamp, get some more quarters, but you had to buy some gum for him. You had to do that, bro. That's the way it was, man. Wait, Shit. they said EBT at ten dollars will get you twenty. That's what I'm talking about. We need that in my life. Man. I spent all my money in the damn store. The dollar was brown. Yeah, the dollar was brown, but even had a red one. I think it was five. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Shit, man. That's reality, man. When your credit score and your bank account balance is match negative, <laughs> bro, that's bad. That happens, bro. We can be best friends, bro. And no she lie. be trading food stamps for real cash? No. Oh yeah. boy, yeah. I used to buy a pack of gum to break the food stamps to get a slush puppy because you yeah. can't buy slush puppies with stamps. Bro, the slush puppies were bomb back in the day. Yeah. Remember those? Yeah. It's just changed, man. You ready for a shot? No. 
you mean no, man? I can't do no shot. I can't no more. I can't. All right, we're going to do one last little one for everybody because we got to get off in a few. I can't do it. Hey, you ain't been drinking, man. Oh, baby ass shot. We got a bartender here to do a little drink. No, 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 that's it. Because I didn't want to give you too much. What's up, Australia? I don't have a shot. Y'all right, mean snowballs. No, we got snowballs. Uh, and nah, That's different than, that. than slush puppies. Slush puppies <laughs> used to go down. I used to go down to Walmart back in the day. You used to have to go to customer service, but you get them at Circle K. Better than that, bro. Where else you can get them from? Better than that, y'all. I'm going to have to show you how to make these, but I used to have down there in Kenham, bro. When I lived in Kenham, bro, they had a lady that would sell Icy cups, bro, for a quarter, man. You get your solid quarter together, bro. We used to go down, poor lady, man. Bless her soul. We used to go down there with like 25 pennies, bro. You got one of them cups? She pop open the front window of her house, bro, and you sell pickles, frozen cups, pickles, candy, whatever you got enough money for. That's what you used to do. We back used to get a quarter, bro, two dimes and a nickel together, bro, and roll down there. If not two dimes and five pennies, go down there, bro. All right, yeah, let me get one of them, them frozen cups. Yeah, it comes like a cup like this, like a clear cup. But it was small. It was like a Dixie cup. Where'd my shot win? I ain't make myself one. Mm-mm. Candy Lady Ralph. Yeah, bro. Before bruh. Katrina, that's right. That was a long time ago, man. Long Pickle time Pickles, ago. Pickle Pickles, though. I be trying to tell these folks. <laughs> Much respect, because I can relate for real, for real, so don't get in the fall, guys. Nah, shit's real shit, man. Everybody had food stands back in the day, now everybody pretending they all had, they had all that in a bag of chips with their credit cards. Nah, man, that's what We call them had. icy cups. Yeah, icy cups, yeah. You go get your icy cup, frozen cup. She knew what you were talking about. Cold you go over there. Cold, Everybody else would call them cold cups. Cold cup. You, you go down over there and say anything with a cup, bro. She got you, bro. Solid quarter. What color you want? You want blue, green, orange, purple, yellow, red? What you want, baby? I'll tell you what. Give me a, give me a red. A bit of watermelon. Then what you do is you just push the... Y'all remember this? You push the bottom in. Boop. Flip it over. Boop. Boom. On the road, bro. You was good to go. I got two EBT hookups. <laughs> need some EBT, man. Everything's so expensive. <laughs> I see Disney go same thing. That's what I'm saying, bro. They just put them in the little cups. I now used to have to go to UVC for that, though. They didn't That's have where that. I used to go. In the they UVC. didn't have that in my neighborhood. See, I was in the UVC, bro. I used to be able to get that. I used to get my women out the UVC, my frozen cups, bro. My Dang. everything came out of that. Um. Hold on. Question is for Ralph. Who is your favorite chef or is it anyone on the Food Network? Oh, and believe it or not, y'all. Believe it to be the truth or not. I don't really watch no chefs and all that, though. I kind of I just do me. I, I don't really, huh. No, I, I, don't I don't really watch it. Watch I don't watch them chefs, man. Kind of just do my own thing and figure things out how I want it to be. Really, his mom taught him and his grandma taught him? Yeah, just so taught. I don't be watching the fools like you that. You don't really watch nobody. Why not? <laughs> What'd you read? It's too shy. Shirley, <laughs> Shirley's stupid, man. Right, why the hell you never turn into a cold you <laughs> into a cold you man? What? Shirley's a fool. Thank you, Angela. Yo, my mom taught me. That's right. That's what it is. Hey, I don't never watch all them damn shows. Oh, a cold cup man. Oh, Ralph really could have been doing that, making a hustle, huh? He could have been the cold young. cup man. I was too Why young. he didn't do it on the corner? Kenna, bro, yep. I was in Kenna, man, when I would do that, man. I'd go down to Georgetown, I think, or something like that. And they had a lady. She'd sell them right out the window. It was on Georgetown. She'd sell them. She was from the corner. Mm -hmm. You ain't never went down? Right before your time. No, that's why I, I lived in Driftwood. So they didn't have no cold cup ladies in Driftwood because they was bougie. So I'd have to go when I go see, I would go on Tulane. Oh, that's they used to have Tulane because when I used to go to Ash's house from Tulane. See, that's different than my, than my era. They had nobody on Tulane, just Georgetown, one lady. No, they had a lady on Tulane, but towards West Esplanade. 
See, that ain't my stomping ground. Mine was what like around. What you mean? It's freaking Georgetown is directly across from Tulane. They run into I each was other. on like uh. You was on Georgetown, John Hopkins. I was on John Hopkins, man. John Hopkins in uh in, in Tulane right there, man. Sarah talking about a whole another summer vision or something. What you mean Tulane ran off of John Hopkins Baby, and Georgetown? Tulane, Closer to West Esplanade. That's way down there by Johnny's house, man. Yeah, like over there. That's where a Crystal long way the hell away, fool. That ain't that far. I was seven blocks the other way, man. By you got seven block block right? difference? Yeah. You act like we lived in different cities. Any Sarah cities? was running with every guy in the neighborhood back there, bro. So she looks familiar, that's why. I don't know, I don't know where so. Right, so right. That is not true, liar. West Bank is the best bank. All right, that's what they say. That's the right bank. I'm just playing. <laughs> It's only 7.51 in Washington. Let's go. Shit, it's early there. Cajun style eggs. What is a cold cup? These it's two are East vibe. Jefferson Parish. Yes, yeah, yes, we are. We are a Jefferson Parish. That is true. Yes, that would be a correct statement right there. Harvey. What's up, Harvey? Treeport. What's up, Treeport? Where is Treeport? I Treeport, man. Ralph, they done typed it like six times. I think they know... I don't know where Treeport is at. I ain't at. heard of that, bro. I ain't, I ain't heard of that, bro. Well, they probably in another state. Oh, we need a shot. They said, well, All right, now. <laughs> All right, M3. This might be the last shot for us tonight, man. Because I got to take a shot later. But come on, I'm not. No, Ralph wasn't raised uptown in Nola. Ralph was raised Kenner yeah. Mattery, but we've. He wasn't raised uptown, though. But now we have lived in New Orleans. In New Orleans. But like, New Orleans, Mattery, Kenner. We lived by Lake, not by, well, kind of by Lakeview and West End. But you run, but when you live out here, you run all up in New Orleans. What's up, Gretna? All right, Gretna. Got a player. See, you and Gretna, man, that's where the police don't play, bro. The police will snatch up quick and Gretna. I think they anyway. say it's report. That's what Ralph said. Maybe they say it's report, but they say it's report. I ain't never heard no report. All right, you ready? Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. Ugh. How you don't drink a drink after that? It's all the same mentality, the same. That's right. You take a shot. Saints. So you yeah. read Shreveport as Shreveport. <laughs> yeah, right. Big steak. We did it. Um, uh, that that time I was out of the Uh oh, Shirley. What you and James fighting about? Y'all from both from the West Bank? What do you mean? <coughs> Lord. Not that it matters, but I enjoy watching your cooking videos, your food being hidden. Thank you for keep doing what you're doing. Well, of course that matters. Thank you. Yeah, that matters. I appreciate you, and I'm glad you're enjoying it. That's what it's all about, man. Karen, leave me alone. <laughs> James, <laughs> why James is playing with yeah, Shirley? Yeah, yeah, Shirley, but your new name is Karen, man. Why are they playing with my girl? One day we down in New Orleans. This shit clears up. I know, yeah, right? Yeah, man. I'm telling you, come down to New Orleans, man. Enjoy the food. Scenery is beautiful. The weather's normally beautiful. Come on down and check it out. Shirley's got disdain for the West Bank right now, okay? She's just really in her feelings right now, James. Just please. I, James, she just. Please, she James. Just, she's just, born and raised in West Wega. Oh, all of us supposed to say that, Shirley. But she's just really feeling some ill feelings about the West Bank. She's going to get out of her feelings. And she's going to love the Wang Bank. I mean, the West Bank. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> What's up, England? I see in the house. What's going on? Do you have a website for the seasoning? Yes, maybe? it's bakers101.com. Check it out. And the seasonings are 40% off today, y'all. So you get <laughs> she better take off. that to Freeport. <laughs> uh, let's see, UFC. What are we talking about? Holloway or Catter? UFC? Which one is you taking? Yeah. Holloway or Catter? I guess that's how you say Holloway, it. Holloway, yeah. We, 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 oh, man. I don't know, y'all. Retina bar. <laughs> West Bank does keto. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Why are you playing? That's what Shirley does too, bro. I ain't even lying, man. They said Holloway 100%. Yeah. What's up from Bruce Lee? All right. All right, now. Thanks for making me laugh, guys. You're so welcome. You're definitely welcome. See, if I was lucky girl, James would have got muted, but I'm not that Karen. <laughs> yeah, so we all saying the same thing. That's how it's going to go down. See, 
See, it's all in love and games. James and Shirley, they gonna be BFFs after it's all said and done. Do the Bean Boozle Challenge. You and Sarah on Friday with cocktails. That'll be funny. We're gonna have to look that up. I don't know what that is. We're gonna definitely that's do the, some fried that's over. That's the though, beans man. that taste like all that weird nasty stuff. And you don't know which one you're gonna get. Remember the kids played that? Bruce Lee now, but five shots later, it's Bruce Lee. <laughs> 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 oh my god, what's up? Is the guy who got banned from PETA. Remember me from a few streams ago? You still banned, Jake? Man, man. Uh, I don't like Old Bay seasoning, is yours different? Yeah, Old Bay's to me tastes like ramen noodle seasoning. We do not use Old Bay. People in their own respect like yeah. it where they're from. However, we do not use Old Bay. We have recently tried it. Someone sent it to us. Ralph said it tastes like the ramen noodle seasoning. So Old Bay is trash. So, it's definitely not comparable to Old Bay. So, no worries. My seasoning... I tell you what, I've been blessed, man. I, I I always thought it was good, but you know, you always think your own stuff is good. You know what I mean? But man, I have sold so much seasoning, y'all wouldn't even believe it. Everybody always comes back for more, right? Yeah. Everybody comes back for more, so I said, man, it's gotta really be that good, because I thought it was. Because everybody always orders more. You know what I mean? So it's like, man, number the blessing, man. You think that's funny? Uh -uh. You think that's funny? Yeah, when Shirley heard Can Shirley please deal with that? Oh, okay. I got no. She dealt with it. It's okay. My girl's on top of that. Uh, she's on top of shit when I said it to you, bro. I laugh at it. Wait, no, because I was about to get. <clears throat> Sarah's had a few drinks. Bitch got blocked. Come from our friend. Thank you, Shirley. I was about. Uh, what is spicy? Is it hot? It's about a seven out of ten. It ain't gonna burn your lips off, but it's gonna have some spice to it. Own pizza dough. Yeah, I did a Cajun pizza. So even if you don't do the Cajun pizza, I did do the dough as well. Check I like how video. you call Raymond Raymond. Because everybody else calls it ramen. Bro. Really? Yeah, they go ramen noodles. Ramen noodles? Ramen noodles. Now it's called Raymond noodles down there. <laughs> What's up, Tennessee? Grew up on Old Bay. Location, location. Yeah, it but is. But you know, it, and, it and, and I don't different. knock it. Because I, and I, look. To me, it's. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. But but it may be that we get so much flavor out here that it tastes very mild to us, like ramen noodles seasoning. But you got to realize, man, you get some Cajun seasoning and some real shit. And some real stuff. Or like some real crab bowl seasoning. You're like, man, this is a totally different taste, bro. This thing got some kick. To me, the old bay, I could lick that off my fingers all day long. You go do that with some, some good Cajun seasoning or some... Uh, if not some crab ball seasoning, you're going to be like, ooh, that's, that's, that, that's that fire right there. It just is what it is. But like I said, I can't talk bad on it as far as steaming crabs because I never had it. I've never been up north, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they call it soup in jail. That's true. My kids call it soup. Yeah. Instead of ramen noodles, they call it soup. Kroger uses shrimp boil. Old Bay is good. Hit Nola seafood better. Yeah. Ralph, make some prison noodles. So last time I drank that tequila, it was good. That little recipe again, man. I lied. <laughs> and we ain't got all the stuff though. Texas. Quick question. Uh, y'all um, in the video earlier today yeah. when y'all was doing a tour, did y'all, do they not fix the potholes because of y'all's weather? They just don't fix the potholes in general, man. Everybody's corrupt and crooked in New Orleans, man. Everybody's, is, uh, is, I'll tell you what they're doing, they're putting all that money in their pockets, you know. Uh, but this is the thing with the potholes. Number one, they'll do temporary patches on the potholes, but because... So like the black turf, whatever you call that stuff? Like not concrete, yeah. but like what you call that? Black turf? Not turf. Tar. Not tar. It's the tar. It's, it's not tar, y'all. What is it called? It's black. It's not concrete. What is it, y'all? Damn it. Not turf and it's not tar. Something else. Let me see. Somebody gonna know. Asphalt. Asphalt. Black top. Thank you. They do that. So it lasts like a little bit of time and then like as the cars go over the asphalt, it kind of like pulls it up again, I guess, or something like that. Yeah, they do patchwork on it. 
our our we're gonna forever have potholes because of our ground. It's just it's swampy. It's gonna break. It's gonna separate. The houses come off the foundations. Crack. They crack. I mean, it's just we're below sea level. It's just our land. So there's pot. We're gonna forever have potholes. We're gonna get you about a good front end alignment about once a year. We call them hookups here. They fill the potholes with, with the oyster shells. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Way up town. That's absolutely true. They do. Yeah. Hell, I think the oyster shells work better. <laughs> the roads are on keto. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't lying. Yeah, you met. Yeah, the weather does humidity messes up the roads. The oh my god, the summer makes it worse. Um, we're gonna have some hard uh, copy of the cookbook show within the next couple of days. Definitely be checking the website because I don't think that'll last long. Yeah, we're gonna put some more up. We get okay. So we found another company that's been able to print them in smaller quantities. The first company that we went through was kind of crazy um so we had to do large quantity amounts of at least like 500 a thousand or 2500 book commitment before they would print any we found another company that will just do like 10 at a time that's doable 25 25 at a time okay 25 i'm sorry at a time i'm just saying so mine is 190 octane sarah's is what for daiquiris yeah what was your favorite daiquiri, fool? Oh. I like 190 Octane or Jungle Juice, whatever shot of Everclear. Sarah gets... I'll either get that or I'll get... Strawberry tree cheesecake shit. No, I'll get Mudslide or like a White Russian. Depends on my mood. Everybody's asking about the Cocoa Bars. Who's going to do on this? We're going to add some or what? That will be to be determined. Well, Ralph will put up a post on the Cocoa Bombs. He usually puts up posts on the about the website, you know, a few times a week about like new availability so you guys can find out. So just keep a lookout on that. But I'm gonna tell you, if you want that seasoning, y'all, it's, it's forty percent off. So grab it. Big Sarah looks like a candy bar type bitch. Ooh, Shirley, maybe's gonna fight tonight. Yeah, that's about right, Shirley. How's it going, Ralph? Hey, it's going pretty good. I can't. It was a plan. hypnotic freeze. I got that one time, and it gave me the worst headache of my life. Cherry bomb. No, Shirley from Louisiana with a French last name, right? <laughs> Coco bombs are so twenty twenty. <laughs> oh shit! Right, but Coco bombs were. New and unique in 2019 when Ralph first popped them off in the United States. I think they were originally created in the UK. And Ralph popped them I didn't off. even see them in the UK. I popped them off, bro. Nobody made them. Nobody knew about nobody them. Had. Nobody nothing. So when I tell y'all I popped them off, bro. But now everybody's a cocoa bar maker. I don't even know how I came up with it. It was one Thanksgiving morning. I woke up and I had a candy <laughs> mold and I made it like that. And then... I made so much money on them cocoa bonds, man. They never show me love. What is a cocoa bomb? My cocoa bombs were a quarter pound almost of uh, chocolate. It's just a ball of chocolate. It's candy mold. I had to show y'all another live, maybe next Friday. It's just a candy mold. I fill it up with chocolate. And it's a two piece candy mold. So it'll do five circles at the bottom and you put a top so it'll be hollowed out. And then you just fill them up with marshmallows, y'all. And you stick the two cocoa bonds together. You melt the chocolate so that they stick together, boom, put it on top. And then what you do is you get a big old glass and then you get some uh, some milk and you just pour it over the top and then it poop, pops open all the marshmallows. Really, really good. What's up, what's up, what's up, Cash? James, what's up? Shirley said, who's talking shit? I don't see it. I don't know, who cares? The hell with it. I want to see that. All right, so this Friday coming up, y'all, I'll make a few cocoa bombs and I'll show y'all. And I'll also show you the mold you need to get it, where you get it. Matter of fact, I'm going to make a video on it because they really are awesome. Cocoa bombs, man, are awesome. Really, they are. Uh, all the kids are sleeping? Yep, they're all asleep. Why? <laughs> I'm just playing with you. <laughs> Ready to tell, bro. <laughs> Let's go. What's your favorite kind of fish to eat? I ain't gonna lie. I like, I love blackened catfish, y'all, on the skillet, man. It's real, real nice. 
But I mean, I love all kind of fish, but black and catfish does something. That's something special. Okay, let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all find that this live is better quality video streaming than the last ones? The look he gave when she said the kids are asleep. <laughs> y'all crazy, man. Y'all 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 crazy, man. <laughs> Y'all seen that, huh? I thought I was the only one that seen that. I need a beverage. Damn, bro, you all seen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Definitely. Damn, I got a raggedy The phone. quality oh, is garbage, honestly. Really? It looks so clear on us. This live is about to end real quick. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, this, oh, wait, let's see. How many children do you have? Five. We have five kids. All the kids are asleep. Let's go. No, no, no. Oh, my God. No, no, no. I said that, y'all, because I heard it turn the TV off. And that ain't normal, bro. I ran in this house, man. I mean, it's 10 o'clock. That still ain't normal around here, bro, for the TV to be going off. So that's why I said that. Yeah, we now, got five kids, y'all. We got five kids. The oldest kids are sleeping out right now, so... I'm used to having kids moving around, this, that, and rest. That's why I said Y'all have had better quality. No hate. I'm really shocked because we usually get better quality on my phone. That's why we did it, not on Ralph's. I so I was curious. Kids. That's a lot of kids, five kids, bro. That's, that's a lot. <laughs> that means your hands is full like ours. For sure. You heard me? All right, no. <laughs> Ralph's feeling them shots. That's a lot of gumbo making on five kids, for real. Uh, five kids is a lot of kids, man. Speaking of that, I got to show y'all how to make my dad going gumbo, man. Everybody been asking me. Shit. Shirley said y'all only claim five. Y'all, we have the other five kids. They work constantly. And the, no, we're just playing. This first, uh, somebody, uh, the video quality on this end is uh, crystal clear. Yeah, I know. Hmm. I don't know. We've been trying to upgrade some nine, stuff. I have a eight, and a six. Huh? You got your hands full for sure. We got a whole adult child, y'all. Fuzzy. So it all just depends. Some people saying fuzzy, some people saying great. Okay. Yes, with five kids, we always have some. I already know shit. Five kids, you ain't saying nothing. I already know. I got twin six year olds. Believe me, them them boys down. One's tired, one's not, one's hungry, one's not. One wants ramen noodles, one wants dinner. Oh, man, it's terrible. Terrible situation. It's fuzzy, and I'm in life yet. Oh, shoot. We're off the bank and I bought this big, big time camera, bro. Don't make me pull that out and show y'all, bro. I can't be live streaming on that camera. Don't cooperate, man. You can't live stream on a camera. That's why I bro. said, bro. That's what I'm saying. I wish I, I could. I keep telling you to do it on a laptop. Man, I don't like the laptop live stream. That's just raggedy, bro. I have a nine, a seven, a seven, a one in three months. Oh, Lord. Well, I'm going to pray for you. Bless you. Wow. I'm going to pray for you because that's. We know what that feels like. Yes, we do. Ralph the swaggy has not tried too hard, white boy. I've seen you. Keep it authentic. I appreciate you. I'm about to go over here and make me another uh, tequila and water. Sorry, you need a beverage? No, baby. I'm good. Your claw's good? Yeah. Well, and the 10 shots of Malibu you gave me. Uh, I gave you three half shots. Man. I think you was pouring some in my in my cup. I ain't pouring shit in that cup, I man. I think you was spiking my drink. Also called it here in Houston. All right, I mean, we've just been trying to switch it up, fix it, see, see what that? works. See right there? On that package right there? Bruh, don't do me that. <laughs> Give me a napkin on my computer, you raggedy baker. <laughs> Spicy. Hell yeah, it's getting real now. <laughs> So you get the oh, y'all seen that, huh? I got witnesses. It's not fuzzy for me. I'm in the sticks. I think it's so, Sarah. I, I mean, know. we trying, y'all. We trying to get the microphones together for the know. video. Follow we trying to get know. the editing better. Thumbnails better. Man, that's so much, y'all. Shit, nice. Should drink drunk. slip into the sticks? <laughs> rough around here. What you want for your birthday, baby? Man, I don't know, y'all. Big crawfish ball. He's loosening up Sarah's on after the live. Cali misfit. Oh, we're going to see. He's it's... probably going to pass out, y'all. Sarah, bro, why you always play, bro? I'm going to start playing on you in this bitch now. I'll let you go far, but I ain't let you go too far. <laughs> they don't call me the big daddy for nothing around this bitch, <laughs> man. I'll tell you that right now. Okay? Who's that? You? Who's that? You the star, with. <laughs> 
I'll let you play, but now we'll, I'll fire back if you make me. Now I'll make me fire back right now. Oh my now. god, bro, this dude. I'll let her talk that shit, bro. But look, I'm gonna tell y'all something. This ain't damn real. She knows. She don't want me to fire back on her. Shirley, what is wrong with you? <laughs> y'all doing a good job. Good day. My wife and I love the spicy season. We ordered a bottle around Christmas and finally got it the other day. Needless to say, we definitely be ordering more. Chris, I'm so happy you finally got it because USPS was really yeah, stressing us out, stressing out all of y'all beautiful people with our with the orders and the packages. It was very stressful. <laughs> I'll be in Lafayette come March. Let's link up. That's it. Show them what I said. Shirley, wrong with you. He's going to be saying, <laughs> he's going to be telling everybody speaking a thing of lingon. Shots of rhinos. Y'all have fun to drink with. <laughs> Y'all have a favorite hot sauce. Actually, Ralph has a hot sauce that he made. I want to say it was right after the hurricane. I want to say in November. He had been working on it most of the summer. Trying to perfect it. And it is bombing. I don't even like hot sauce. So I was, it, it was really bomb. good. Got that kid's twist on it. <laughs> I love you guys. It's different than regular. Oh my God. Shirley McKill, you. She what? said you try to get a membership to Colette's. And now people are asking what is Colette's. Man, it costs too much, man. It's like $100 for a membership. And then you still got to pay at the door to get in, man. This ain't worth it, man. Oh, man. Shirley. Okay, so. Hold on. Wait a minute. This video is going to be up here for life. We're going to have to private this video. We're getting in this conversation. I need some of that hot sauce. Yo, yeah, yeah, hot sauce it. is good for real. It's, it's got a Cajun twist to it. You're gonna taste that Cajun. You're gonna taste. We it. We can't right? disclose it on YouTube. Just look it up, and y'all put it in the comments. And, and he does it. not really want. Who? To Whoa! Speak for yourself now. You want a membership there? Oh yeah. Oh Ow. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh Ow. yeah. Every man in this group wants a membership there. I ain't alone with this. Stop, you hurt my fingers. I'm going to break it. You break my fingers, I'm gonna bro. I'm going to break it down, bro. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I want me a membership, man. <laughs> the way he said <laughs> He cannot <laughs> tell all of his recipes. <laughs> I know, right? Kids are in bed. Give me a membership. <laughs> give me a membership, man. What the hell are they talking, man? Hell yeah, I want a membership. I need to go down there and investigate, man. Sure. Can I just okay? It's a it's a private club mm -hmm. in which married couples and other married couples and single people and some single people go like together. <laughs> yeah, and everybody is just having a good. And old everybody's time. like woohoo together. Not everybody, bro. Like if you, if you went there, if you and your old lady say, "Well, that's an attractive couple right there." Well, then you and that other couple go about your business, talk, have some beverages. Yes, Jeffrey, one of those places. That's it. No big now, deal. No big deal. I'll be there tomorrow night. We'll be now, there. Now, okay, so let me tell y'all how this got started. So Ralph was doing a tour. You can't say how this got started, man. Okay. New Orleans. And we passed it. No, because I ain't disclosed. I ain't saying it. So, Ralph was doing a tour like he does, driving around, no, he's showing his things. <laughs> and hey, he showed, the show and right then he now. showed the club, and then it became a huge, that's why one of our lives had to go private on YouTube, because it was on, and that's where the swing of ding a ling came from. <laughs> Ralph said everybody's in there swing a ding a ling They're living their best life, brain mad at them, man. My computer died. Damn. Wait, hold on. <laughs> That's because we've been on live for two hours, fool. That ain't nothing for us. It's Friday. We only go live. I ain't even go live last week, man. For real? Nah. It's two weeks since I've been live, man. In Ralph's defense, Sarah was curious. <laughs> Sarah was very curious. So we're going to No, wait. Night. Hold on. I was curious about this we're because... We're going tomorrow night. I can't have the camera out, but I will have it out in, this, in like... I need some glasses, bro, with the camera on it. I wanted, okay, because Ralph made it sound like it was going to have, like, you could see in the windows and stuff. So I was like, nah, oh, well, let's go crying. see. <laughs> but that's how you made it sound like we were going to be able to see from outside. We went past by and it was like black windows, black door. Is like, you didn't even it? know what it was. Sarah, they Sarah. said, mm -hmm, Sarah. <laughs> Y'all already know. They, he did. He made it sound like we was going to see something. <laughs> 
swinging from it's, trees. Nah, man. And we didn't see nothing. You want to go go tomorrow night and go find out what it is. Take everybody with us. Can't tell them, though. Bad mistake trying that. <laughs> yes, it's one of those. It's one of those, y'all. Ain't nothing bad with that, man. Miss Sarah, is that where you met, Ralph? <laughs> you only live once, man. You'll never know. It's a club where they compare oysters. <laughs> Hey, I can respect that. Wait, hold on. Is that where you learned about the rhino? Have you really been there and you didn't tell me about this? Oh, I've got questions now. Well, oh, have we been there? No, I'm playing. I'm just playing, y'all. Everybody calm down. I'm just joking, bro. I'm just playing. <laughs> no, but really, it's... Uh, I, mean, I can't be mad at the people Jan going with the clam <laughs> Y'all think if Sarah wasn't down to go, I wouldn't be there, bro? Why do you want to go? I'd be there tomorrow night. Guarantee you off the paper Why? at the club. You're about, wait, hold on. Let me tell you something. I'm going to see what's going down. Wait, hold on. Let me explain something. I want to see what's wait, going down. I'm going to just say this as your wife because I love you. The night was going good. Don't mess it up now. It was going good. <coughs> Kids are in bed. Don't end up on the sofa. Listen, listen, let me explain something you. Because you put your foot in your mouth. Let me explain something to you. I just, I hold on. Ralph, you want a few oysters. <laughs> oh my God, Ralph want to catch tonight. Nah, I mean, look, I'd go down there just to investigate, just so we can see what it's about. In my, my own business, that's, that's all. No big deal. Ain't no big deal for me, man. Ralph the baker come through, watch what's going down, and that's, that's how we do it. No big deal. Mm-hmm. Man, Sarah, I'll probably bring Sarah in there. I probably couldn't get out the goddamn door, man. That's how that'll go down. What the hell you think I'm gonna do in there? I'll be scared for my damn life running out of the fucking room. Oh. Now you got me cursing. Right. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Fuck you that. ain't shit, bro. You raggedy at the end of me, man. You raggedy, bro. Why you wanna go there? <laughs> we about to fight for you real. You gonna run out, bro? Yeah, be scared. It's all the swinging thing to leave. That oyster, bro. Hit you. <laughs> hit with an oyster, bro. Bro, you at it. Here comes yeah, the fight. Man. Oh, my God. Yeah, Ralph, man. would you want to try out my wings all dumb dumb? <laughs> <laughs> Look, everybody that don't know, out of our 80 people in there, just add the hour bacon, please. Exit the live. I blame Karen for this. <laughs> see, Shirley, this is all your fault. Because see, Shirley and her husband go up off over there. Hold up, wait, you can't take a shot without me, you dumb nut. We're supposed to tell everybody. Hey. This this is a shot? This is half oh, the this cup. Is shot. This is all shot. You put Malibu in Alright, last thing. shot of the night. We're gonna take this together, y'all. We're gonna take the shot together. <laughs> they said this is awesome slow live chat slow, bro. Yeah, I know, right? I Jason, did I not warn him? Yeah. I warned him, I said, stop while you're ahead. Okay, these things. <laughs> Oh, yeah, your husband's too innocent. Yeah, we know. Uh, we know, Shirley, baby. Lightweight shots. Major mistake. Shit, what you mean, Kelly? Yeah, big time. deal. Major mistake. What you mean? Shit, look, man. My bottle was here when we started the night, y'all. Look where we at, bro. From here to there. That's a long way. Bro. That's a long way in two damn hours. Ralph the Baker turned All right, hold on. What happened, Baker? Kelly? Kelly, all right. Kelly's been there before. Kelly, let's speak on this situation. Where have you been? Well, you don't know if Kelly's been there before. Major mistake. I mean, she's been there. She had to have been there before. Had to have been there. Don't put your foot in your mouth without the mint flavor shoes on. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Hold on, let me pour my Tito's. All right, Callie. I instigate Ralph's bullshit. I see that, Shirley. Shirley get me in trouble. <laughs> that bro. bottle looks like my credit score. <laughs> <laughs> me too, bro. She looks like my credit score too, man. Much love in North Carolina. Enjoy this it's new North Carolina. And delicious food. Thank you so much. We're glad y'all enjoyed it, man. We ain't doing nothing but having a good time. Man. Just remember, at those places, both must might play. I wouldn't want to go with my wife. Might go sideways. I agree, Jeffrey. I agree, Jeffrey. But I what think... if you get two voices instead of one that night? That, that could be an interesting situation. You know what I'm saying? Could be you called fair. it an oyster? Whoa. You're going to ruin the paintings. <sighs> They but I'm just saying, Jeffrey, what? Maybe. Folks have a southern accent, unique accents, nothing like it's Maybe, I'm just saying. You never know, bro. I mean, it's maybe a situation. But then you go there and your old lady gets too strong and dung alone. But you're like, oh, ding a ling a ling is flying around your old lady's head. But you're like, damn, this backfired. That'd be my luck, bro. That'd be my luck, bro. Go down, bro. And I'd just be like, well, 
It is what it Don't is. Don't put now. that man in the doghouse. Truth, Nola is like his own little world. That's my yeah. luck too, Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey said that's my luck. That be my luck. I'd be like, two words from that. All right, all right. This look good. It cost Boom. you more than you want to pay, Kelly said. Mm -hmm. I agree, Kelly. What color? I need to go down there and sit. I right, see. I, that, that's kind of like judging a restaurant before I go in. I just never know what's there until I go in and taste and see what the situation is. You got to go look around, got to investigate the circumstances at hand, and then make a determination. He is full of lies, y'all. Just don't believe nothing this boy says. He talks a whole lot of smack. <laughs> Experience is life's best. <laughs> With two oysters, one always gets polished more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it, but y'all stupid as hell. Blue what? plate. I'm gonna go for blue plate, not homies. Thank you, blue plate, crazy, all day. Y'all crazy, man. Y'all crazy than hell, Y'all about as crazy as me, man. Ralph is assuming they all look like Sarah. You're gonna end up trading your Mercedes for a Honda? Yeah, that's me, my luck, too. Yeah, lying. I ain't never had Duke's mayonnaise. I've only had mayonnaise. I mean, blue plate. What is what? That's you done threw Malibu up. Watch my computer, bro. Straight to the... Bam. <laughs> you guys cracked me up. Let's go. Straight right. Tito's and ice, no water or mouth. Let's go. All right, y'all ready? Who got his shot ready? Sprinkles and Malibu in the cloth. Shirley, he just did that. No. Old saying, never listen to a mashed man's words. Yeah, see? Remember, curiosity killed the cat. I agree, Ke Kelly Don, I think you're the voice of reason Kelly, tonight. Kelly, relax, Kelly. Kelly, relax. No, Kelly. don't play with my girl, Kelly, bro. I ain't playing. Just ain't Kelly, Kelly is the voice of reason tonight. While you drunk talking, and you're going to wake up, and you're going to feel a whole different way sober, and you're going to be like, I, want I wish you would. I wish you would go up in there. I wish we would go tomorrow. That's going to be all day. I wish around there. I'm running a joint. And you're going to get left in there with your, with your clap from the moisture. Great with that. <laughs> Great goose. Let's go. All right. All right. Danny's ready. All right. You're going to ask for oyster and get a seahorse? <laughs> Ah, oh, that'd be my luck, man. Damn, so it's probably how to cook some blue crab. We got some blue crab ball up there. Check it out. Rob gonna wake up with herpes messing around. Ah, oh, that'd be my goddamn luck. Rob be like, y'all, bro, Rob the baker took a hit, man. A hard hit, bro. Rob take her to bed. Shoo, man, soon. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Rob's gonna get a spot on the sauce. <laughs> fuck no, man. No, man. No, man. No. You know, I'm gonna stay home, bro. You know what? I didn't change my mind. I'm staying my dumb ass home, bro. <laughs> oh my god, I have tears. Nah, I'm staying my dumb I ass have home. I tears bro. for real, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Blister lip. Bro, what's wrong with y'all, bro? <laughs> Damn, man. I said blister lip in his bottle. Was... Damn, bro. That'd be a terrible <laughs> situation, bro. Oh my god, Tito's is better than Goose. What? That's true. That was the Duke's remind me. They talking about mayonnaise still. <laughs> you got this pervert on your side, bro. Talking about this perverted stuff. Oh my god! Tomorrow night crab cakes. Crab oh. cakes good. I already did a crab cake video. Y'all, I'll show you how to make the crab cakes already. <laughs> Yo, what's up? What's up? <clears throat> oh my god! Y'all busting up makes me bust up. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'll get off this line and make hot <laughs> Guys, these comments are about to get weird. I suggest you wrap it up for real, huh? Shit, man. Oh, All right, come on. Come on, come on, come on, man. All right. Good shots here, you dumb nut. Oh! <laughs> this guy, bro, I ain't wearing a damn tonight, bro. All right, cheers, y'all. Oh, cheers. my cough sounded like a mess with messing with y'all. Sounds like a cow mess with poor Shirley. See y'all next time. Gotta go. All right. Thanks, Cash. We appreciate you coming in. All right. Let me see your cup. You want to drink more? I'll put fucking more on it. No. Yeah, no, right. I don't want you set. Let me see what you got. Morning, you. No, I was playing. I was playing. I've been drinking tequila all night. I ain't worried to bullshit. I Mike appreciate y'all. Have fun. Thank you. Thank y'all. Thank you for coming in. Thank you, Jeffrey. <sighs> He gonna wake up covered in bacon grease and oats. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got any shots of penicillin tomorrow? <laughs> Man, that shit will go down, bro. 
God dang. I like these types so <coughs> normally these kind of live streams, y'all, don't happen on YouTube. They normally Instagram. happen on Instagram or TikTok. TikTok too. Open up my girl. Dude, get the hell out of here. We ain't in no bar. We in our freaking kitchen. Would you want me to lay across the table and take shots out of my belly button? When we want to take a shot and roll the bed? Three. Four shots. <laughs> Three. All right. Well, fair enough. Three women, I can handle this. Oh my god. Three is no problem for Arthur Baker. All yeah, right, El Paso, we appreciate night. you joining Thank in. You. First thing you ever learn to cook. First thing, gosh, dang, man. You know, I watched my mama and my mama cook for so long. Y'all don't remember the first thing. I'm be lying. Every time she thinks about my January, she says, poor Shirley, my friend got to deal with me. Shirley, that's okay, girl. I got you. Me and you. Shirley, okay. but when you're coming back through, man, it's been a minute since you came over. And I only have YouTube, so I appreciate the live. Live on Instagram tomorrow. Probably so. Probably jump up off on Instagram, now. TikTok pays less than YouTube. Yeah. He doesn't really, he doesn't get any money from YouTube. Ralph doesn't get anything from there. That's yeah, more. Yeah, I do get money on YouTube. No, Instagram. Oh, you, nah, Instagram, I don't get nothing. Instagram, YouTube, y'all, let me tell y'all something. All right, all right, let's get to it. Let's get serious for a minute. Thank you, Jeffrey. That last shot. <coughs> serious. But anyway, all right, YouTube is a blessing, y'all. But I'm going to be honest with y'all, if I do an expensive meal, YouTube, even with 100000 all right, let me put it to y'all like this. Let, let it roll the bagel be real, y'all. I make about $54 a day. What? YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I make $54 a day average on YouTube, which is a blessing because it almost covers a meal. And I did it on TikTok for free. So it is a blessing. But don't think just because we got 100,000 subscribers, oh, I'm going to make all this money. No, don't work that way. So we're off the big and unlearned, okay? Don't work that way. On average, I make 54 bucks a day, which is a blessing because, like I said, I mean, I get to do what I love and it helps me. Now, my website, so much support, everybody buying it, everybody loving the season and buying king cakes. That's where I make a living, and that's how I'm able to do this. Okay? That's the truth of the matter. I promise. Yeah, TikTok pays them 35 cents a day. I made 35 cents on TikTok yesterday, but it's okay. But, <laughs> uh, you know, look, it is what it is, and it's a blessing, and I mean, it is what it is. All right? But don't think that Ralph the Big has got 100,000 subscribers. He's making 500 a day. No. No. Yeah, that stuff's not true. No, nah, it don't work. Yeah, out. he does have commercials, Brenda, but that's the fifty-four dollars. That's from that's where the fifty-four dollars. It's about I would say fifty-five to like sixty-five, depending. But it matters like if you guys skip the ads or if you watch them through or if you stop watching but before let the me ad say, or something like that. <clears throat> I'd still be doing this, and I've been doing this a year. And I was paying for it. I was splitting the bill. So it is a blessing to even be able to get that $55 of that, right? Because I was already paying it anyway to do it because I wanted yeah. to show everybody how I cook. So I don't want to sound ungrateful because I am appreciative of it. And I do appreciate y'all. And yeah. it is a blessing because I could be getting nothing. Yeah, because at least YouTube right now, I mean, unless things pick up or like views pick up or whatever... Um, right now, it's at least pretty much covering the cost of the video. Well, so unless you do what, like a bowl, you know what I mean? You get, well, yeah. But like your regular meal, but, like... But it averages out is what I'm saying. So, I mean, at least with YouTube, right it there. like covers the cost. So that's really good. Because then, you know, I mean, that's how he builds his brand and then all that good stuff. Cajun food is good. You may have to do also some Southern food. We do some Southern food. We do all kind of Southern food. But, you know... It is a blessing. I ain't going to complain on it because, I mean, I did TikTok for damn near a year and didn't make anything. So, I mean, come on. It's a blessing. Yeah, and we also have a store. We also have the thrift shop. That's also another business that we have as well. <laughs> Sorry, you better do your wifely duties after the stream. <laughs> for real. Better get a mile right. That is true. He's only got 109 videos. He blew up on YouTube overnight. Right, so, so I'm not your average person. Your average person, yeah. I think, I don't know. I'm not a YouTube expert. We are so new to YouTube. Like I said, we did TikTok. I have 300,000 followers there. You don't make money on, on that. They came out with a $200 million fund. I told Sarah, we got 300,000 followers. Man, people just love me to death on there. I got so many. I met a lot of beautiful people, man. It's, it's, that's really a big part of this, y'all. We meet. Man, like people, I've honestly been at a meet that comes down. They come to the city. We meet. But even if not, just so many good people, man. It just shows you how many good people is truly left in the world. 
Uh, point being is, is that uh, you just don't make what you think you do. They had a $200 million fund come out, and I told Sarah we were about to get rich, and that didn't happen. We made 35 cents a day. <laughs> but, YouTube, right. but YouTube is better because typically, like, like one person said in here, Typically, people with 100,000 subscribers have 2,000 videos, so they're going to make more money because they have a lot more videos up. Correct. So your subscribers went up dramatically before you could upload the content, so it don't really equal out to what a typical Correct. YouTuber makes. I agree. I agree. Which, is, which we know. We get, and that's fine. I mean, we're just grateful for what, you know, what it is and the journey and what's, you know... I mean, it is what it no, is. I was just saying, a lot of people think, all right, Ralph the Big has got 500,000 followers. He makes all this money. Well, no, 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 not yet. Maybe one day, just not yet. But it's all good. Okay? It's all good. Patreon. A lot of people have been talking about that, and we may do that. Just, man, man y'all, y'all, I swear, like, a freaking eight-minute video is like four hours of film, and I'm like, man, this is some serious business on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Average five minutes to blow for real. Yeah, that's, that's very possible, y'all. I think that's very possible. Very, very possible situation. Yeah, yeah it's kind of like if you was in, then you know. Yeah. You was in, Average 500 in. videos to blow up for real. Yeah, I mean, so that's not but a blessing. Look, I ain't complaining on 55 hours a day. It is what it is. I make my money on my website, to be honest with y'all. You know, that's how I survive and live and pay bills and all that there but it's a blessing i mean anything you get from that man is a blessing because it helps you to pay for that food because man it gets expensive bro yeah it does patreons donate monthly yeah I, i've been thinking about definitely doing one i've been telling sarah it's just it's just really us taking the time to get that really going hey ralph love your videos but yeah we're just so new to everything we don't really know about it all and it's like us because we're like just a two-man show here so we don't I mean, really I try to, I normally, honestly, y'all do a video either every day or every other day. Uh, somebody feels like the videos, uh, when you release multiple videos at once, they swamp each other. I don't really do, I don't do a lot at once. Do you mean I shouldn't be uploading one every day or every other day? Let me know. Yeah, money will grow. I mean, like, it's a blessing, man. I did, like I said, I did TikTok. I ain't made nothing. So it's all good, man. It's all good. Yeah, I mean, it's all a journey. It's all... I mean, this happened so quick. Leave the people uh, waiting more, okay? More money if you did every day. Yeah, that's correct. Because you get more views, yeah. Longer videos are nice. That's true, yeah. I agree with that. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, I never, even with my 300,000 subscribers on, on TikTok, I, I could take it to the to the bank and say, man, I did that on my damn own, man. I ain't had nobody shout me out. Nobody did nothing. No big TikTok talker ever did nothing for me. I did me. And people just loved me and showed me love, man. And that's how I got 300,000. And I feel like that would be the same thing on YouTube. I don't feel like I need nobody else. I mean, a collaboration may come. If somebody point, came and approached that. me, but I ain't like, all right, I, I want more. I got to go collab with somebody else. It just ain't my style, man. I, and I know, I mean, maybe it is the way to go, but it just is, if it's, if it's meant to be, it'll happen. And if it don't, it don't. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think TikTok is shitty on everybody right now. No joke. It might be phasing out. Yeah. It's, it's rough because TikTok really does, at least YouTube has, TikTok's has been, a way to support their creators and make a way where TikTok really doesn't do anything for their creators. Nope. So it's been hard. And it gets expensive, y'all. And people say, well, you're going to eat the food anyway. Yeah, you dumbass. If you think I got money to eat an $80 meal a day, well, you just keep on thinking, bro. Hey, you even thinking <laughs> damn wrong. You know? But I do love to show everybody how to cook and stuff. So, I mean, I'm blessed to have YouTube. Really. No collabs. They always go bad. Starts YouTube drama. I have found that with TikTok. I have found <laughs> Ralph's never done a collab with anybody on any platform. But I found a lot of people have tried to pin each other. Like, we'll get in the comments and try to pin each other against to try and start drama. Um, but Ralph doesn't allow, like, negativity. The moderators know, like, we don't do certain topics or we don't do negativity like it's all love 
Like Ralph wants to just focus on teaching people how to cook, showing people the recipes. Ralph loves this. Ralph has been a baker for on the professional level like 10 years. Like, you know, we'll do like parties, catering. Um, Ralph has been baking for a long time, cooking for a long time. And, you know, this is just an avenue to teach people. We meet a lot of wonderful people online or whatever it looks like. And so the money is just a plus because this is Ralph's dream and this right, is his I was passion. Doing it, I was doing it on TikTok for nothing. So it's all good. It is what it is. It'll grow. You know, it'll, it'll do what it's supposed to do. You know what I mean? If it's meant to be, it'll happen. I promise you. If it's meant to be, yeah. it shall happen. Thank you, know? you. I appreciate that. Um, so yes, me and Ralph are married. We have been we have been married for fourteen yeah, years. I think so. Do you don't? Um, we've been married for fourteen years. We've been together for eighteen total. <clears throat> Tell TikTok fans you full-time YouTube focusing out. I mean, well, the thing with social media is, is that you want to be relevant on all platforms because it helps drive people to where you're most successful at. So, I mean, that's kind of a hard thing, too, is balancing all out. All, and we're it's, new to it's, all of it's this. It's rough. It, it can get rough. We're new to all of this. We don't know about Patreon. We don't know, you know, we just learned about all the different avenues. No, we don't even know hashtags. No, you talking about Yeah, Patreon. we, like, suck at hashtags and descriptions yep. and stuff, bro. We trying, y'all. We trying. It'll be all good, though. It can, but YouTube is bad. I, yeah, I mean, YouTube is, is great in the sense of supporting the creators. It is the best platform for that that is support that has been able to bring in the money or you know support what he's doing y'all raggedy we raggedy y'all we we trying to get it together we trying we got a little fancy camera we still we now we got to get a microphone the microphone ain't in stock so now we've been trying to order it. We can't find it in stock. So that's another thing. Because now people's complaining about that. We're trying to get it together, y'all. We're trying. We'll get that. The camera, I mean, the microphone's not $100. That camera's freaking $800, man. TikTok has more chill lives. It's the first YouTube live that was more chill. Usually it's crazy. Yeah, that's true. My first video I saw you on was when you cooked the jambalaya fry went down the power outage. Much respect. Thank you, Danny. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, it. They, yeah, they... Well, okay, well, online legit strategies, one thing we say is raggedy, but we use raggedy as a good and a bad thing, so when we say we're raggedy and people call us raggedy, it's really a, a joke, so it's not necessarily offensive or bad. Um, people think that, though, they don't yeah. know. Yeah, wait, wait, Sarah, I was looking up on a podcast, I found a site, I forgot to tell you, yeah, that's... A, Charlie, so that's something else Ralph was thinking about was a podcast. But I don't know if it's too early in the game for Ralph to do a podcast or not. Man, I got so many stories. Man, I got so much stories. Y'all y'all, y'all can just put your <laughs> headphones in for these, bro. Rye Santo, yes. Ralph has been wanting to do an intro for the videos. Um, He has been wanting to do an intro. We're, we don't want to lose... Okay, this is the thing about like intros and all of that fancy stuff is that... We do want to find a way to do those things and incorporate those things, but not lose the authenticity of who Ralph is. Right. <clears throat> I'm always hand straight and direct. Yeah, because one thing about Ralph is he's always been very to the point. He doesn't do a lot of fuss and muss, and people like that. It's kind of like, this is what you do, and you've done it, and you've watched it, and you're over it, and there's not a lot of <clears throat> BS in the middle. <clears throat> so we don't want to, like, become too fancy, I but guess. I do like taking them on the tour rides. I do enjoy that. Yeah, and then lose that, if that makes sense, what I'm trying to say. Simple, easy, and delicious was always my thing, and that's how I really grew my followers, by simple, easy, and delicious. Right. Uh, so I don't want to, like, drag it out and be like, okay. And, of course, I'm like, all right, so go ahead and slice up your, your whatever, that whole cutting. Onion, boom. Cut up your onion, boom, 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 and then start adding some of that out. Cut up your, but I ain't going to be like, okay, guys, let's take out the seeds out of this onion, out of this bell pepper, take the seeds out. Now we need to rinse it thoroughly. I, ain't, I just I, I just can't do it, bro. Can't do it. Yeah, he already knows. Y'all know get the seeds out. <laughs> you know to get your damn seeds out of that damn thing. If not, cook the damn seeds, man. 
Yeah, Cali Misfit, it kind of is his intro. Like when he's like, all right, I'm cooking jambalaya, let's go. That kind of is his intro. That's why we kind of have it. Ralph wanted, he was like, should we? And I was kind of like, I don't know. I don't want to. As we learn things, we want to do them and see how they work, but we don't want to lose who yeah, Ralph I don't is. Get like the West Bank. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, no, we've been drinking too much, man. Y'all fools, man. Right, that's what I'm saying. Howdy from Covington. So Maybe Covington, I'll cross man. paths. So, yeah. By the way, Bears in Covington is much better. Right. <laughs> really? Oh, okay. All right, Bears in Covington. All right, well, we had to try it out. We had to try it. They got a lot of places, man. We got to hit them up. Yeah, and start getting rough to bake our free poor boy because they're so ragged. I don't even want to pay for them no more, bro. It's almost like, damn, I go to these places. With expectations of it being good. And it's like, shit, man. I just wasted $30, man. They should have gave me that. But then why would they give it to me when I didn't give them a bad review, right? Damn. That's old Catch-22. We are all happily raggedy with y'all. Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you, man. Thanks for the heads up on Chaps, Ralph. Family loved it. All right, Dave. Yeah, Chaps was good, man. Chaps, I enjoyed Chaps. I really did. Man, the red beans were like real red beans. That was good. That was good stuff. Thank you, Shirley. I see that. Look, people get so mad with my talking in these comments. But I'm going to just say this. Y'all can get mad. Y'all can say I talk too much. I'm annoying. Whatever. Y'all want to hear, Ralph. If I'm not sitting here reading the comments, this is just the way we've done it with TikTok Lives and we kind of just brought it over to YouTube Lives. If I'm not reading the comments with y'all, it gets kind of awkward. It ain't going to get awkward. I'm going to skip over 14 of them because I, I like the yeah. What happens with me is y'all get stuck on one thing. So... If you start talking to them, like that person that said something about Chaps Chicken, I'd be like, yeah, you know what, brother? That chicken was good. It was fresh. It was this. And on and on and on. Where Sarah gets me straight. All right, well, we'll, we'll she'll read the comment out. We'll go to it, and she'll, she'll read another comment out. So it comes out so that we get to everybody. It's just our flow. It's just the way it works well is Ralph does a lot more interaction with you guys if I'm kind of keeping <laughs> Ralph, the focus. And it is what it is. Best Rose Beef and Nola. Hmm. So I'm sorry if I annoy you guys. Best Rose Beef and Nola is going to be different. But I have a lot of experience, man. But, I, man, y'all. Like, when you start talking about New Orleans and, like, stuff like that, I think of stores that I know. But they ain't the best neighbors. But, man, they got the best, best stuff. But if you're talking about, like, somewhere, if you're coming down here and you want to visit something, you want to go somewhere, what's the name of that damn place? Uh, Parkway? Mm-hmm. Parkway Tavern? Parkway Tavern, Bakery, Bakery Tavern, Parkway, whatever the hell it is, they got a badass poor boy, man. They got a nice roast beef poor boy. Now, it's different because it's literally like shredded roast beef, so it's not your traditional deli cut. Deli cut. But, man, is it good, boy. I tell you, boy, it's good. Um, Danny and Clyde's roast beef, big. poor boys are straight. Yeah, man, Danny and Clyde, <laughs> yeah, they're good. You wouldn't think of it, man. Danny and Clyde's got a lot of good food happening. Thank you. I think I, I appreciate you guys. I know you guys love me, but I know there's some naysayers that come in and be like, shut up, Sarah. So I just put that out there. It's like, well, I know y'all want to hear him. I know y'all <laughs> here for him. Mother should resell Danny and Clyde's ball boys. What? Mothers should re resell Danny and Clyde's boy boys. You ain't lying on that one, boy. Danny and Clyde's is good, y'all. That's what they're saying. Mothers should resell them so they can have some decent quality food. So mothers should just go buy bro, Danny and Clyde's and resell mothers, bro, and I was like, took this roast beef. I said, I ain't going to play on them, bro, because I wouldn't want nobody to do it at my restaurant. But on the same token, how can I lie to y'all and say something decent if it's not? So I put over off the bacon in a situation, bro. Like, all right, I got to be real with this because it is what it is. And on one side of me, I feel like I want to help the community, my local community, build and be good. But on the same, same token, got to be faithful to y'all. Because I don't want y'all to come down here and be like, bro, Ro said this was good. Boom. It sucked. Then you know what it is. So I got to keep it real. So it's their job to keep good food. Especially if they're charging the prices. Because when I go to a restaurant and I show y'all something, I take in the price, the service, and of course the food. Okay? I take it. You know I do. Told Sarah, man. But you need to start saying all that in your videos. I wanted to tell you that. It's <coughs> like your rating includes all of these. Like the service was raggedy at Mother's, to my opinion. The service wasn't the best. And then, beat it off, top it off. Okay, top this. You ready for Mother's? You ready for this? You got to pay to park. 
or you don't have parking, so you gotta pay to park. I gotta go pay. Now I can get a paper, get my coupon, my my. What do you call it? Like your parking, your parking. You get your parking thing stamped, or written on by a manager that's rude. You're like, hey, sir, can you please stamp? He's like, have a good day. You're like, well, you have a good damn day too. But anyway, so you gotta pay to park. But if y'all come, y'all probably won't have that issue because of that. But as a local, you want me to go, pay to park, and pay top dollar, and you got some raggedy ass cold cut man that been cut for like five days clean. The, the edge of the roast beef was, was tough and rough, man. It'll break your teeth, man. Baker's Dozen, Jacob is right. Baker's Dozen is bomb. We don't, yes. We live like two minutes away from them. That's some good stuff, man. We go there a lot. They are bomb, but you got to you gotta wait because they shut down after they sell out, which is good. Matter of fact, I just went there the other day. They didn't <laughs> give my two free donuts, bro. They didn't <laughs> give my two free donuts, bro. I wasn't happy about that. But I ain't saying nothing, bro, because they was busy. But I did want my two free donuts on the slick side. Now, it's true. Shirley said you got to pay everybody to park in a French Quarter. That is true. That's true. We wasn't in the French Quarter. Shirley was in Chopper Tulis and Porters. Right. Well, but you still got to pay to park out there, too. It's all but you want me, parking. But, Shirley, locals are not going to pay to go eat at your restaurant. They're not going to pay for parking unless you had a high now, dollar. Now, what if they did Okay, but let me ask you this. If they didn't have that parking lot... They don't have that parking lot. Someone else has that parking lot. All right, but if you can't get mad that you got to park there. Well, put your establishment where you got some damn like parking. Every, okay, but all right, the food sucks, bro. If you go there, you're going to be disappointed. Now the food does... Are you serious, bro? Let's plug in. What's happening here? I don't know, man. I think we got a ghost in this house. Have we plugged them or what? I think we got a ghost in the house that's turning my stuff off. All right, hold on. I never liked McKenzie's donuts, but this, but I still ate them when I was hungry. But King Cake's fire. What? Man, them King Cake's is something good, man. Say, bro, you look familiar. You went to Shalman High. No, nah, man. I've been in New Orleans and met her in Kenner all my life. I went to EJ for uh, high school. Mm-hmm. I just heard a gunshot go off. Charlotte, you're supposed to be in the best area. What you mean you heard a gu gunshot? <clears throat> y'all, I left to go to bed, came back, and y'all still alive. This is why I love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, oh, Shirley, man, probably I... shooting dead or something out there. Shirley just killed somebody. <gasps> why you down? Put y'all. Look, we got to come up with an alibi for Shirley, y'all. She's my friend. Watching from Cal. California. What's up, Cal? In the house. Uh, a good recipe for you to do is a bacon wrapped grilled puffer fish because it's really good. Puffer fish, man, got poison or something, man. With bacon. Man, I think you try to kill her off the bacon. They got poison. Hmm, I don't know if I've ever had bacon wrapped girl. fish. I just told my wife that the kids are in bed. She said so. <laughs> oh shit, man, that's my luck, bro. See what I'm talking about, bro? And. That's yeah, when that's... you just go, you just go to bed, bro. You just go to bed and call it a night. You don't go to bed, you say, tell you the kids are sleeping. I ain't gonna keep on continuing to tell you this. Get the fucking hint. See, now I gotta set the whole video in private, bro. Getting ignorant. Bro, that's the tequila talking. What you gotta do is you gotta say, hey, baby, I forgot to tell you, I made double the money this week. Oh, 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 oh what, what? <laughs> oh, oh, really? Okay, all right, all right. I appreciate the time you're talking to your fans. I know you're talking of love making time. That's okay, Danny. Y'all yeah, good, man. Y'all yeah, good. This is nothing but fun. Guarantee you say, hey, baby, I got that double pay this week. You know, huh? Oh, oh really? You got double pay? Yeah, now you want to talk, huh? I ain't got shit, man. That's, a That's why shit. I'm here. She said so, y'all. I got left. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so sorry, bro. I'm so hey, sorry. Bro, I'm, probably, I'm probably following your road, bro. Don't, don't be worried about it, bro. It'd be another night, bro. When are we going on another trip downtown? Man, everybody's asking. Go go follow me on Instagram. We're off the big one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to do one soon on there. I promise. Okay? We're going to do that. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm having a Mardi Gras bingo night with only y'all's recipes. What should we yeah. do? We're doing a crab bowl and king cake beignets. Ooh, that sounds oh, that's fun. That's do good. do that crab dip. That's what you should do. Wait, hold on. What she said? Crab roll, king cake, beignets. Do a chicken and sausage gumbo or the jambalaya. How was um, the pasta is even better? Ooh, the pasta is good. Um, 
Mm, you do red beans. That's like a New Orleans thing. I'm trying to think what else. This bread is pudding is another good thing oh, to do yeah, it as a dessert. Definitely do that bread pudding, man. I love that bread pudding. What's up, New Mexico? My credit and my love life struggling. I, bro, Ed, it's okay, bro. We we going through this We're together. You, going through it together, Ed. We all in this as one. We just going to proclaim 2021 is going to be good for the love making and the, and the credit score life. We just going to proclaim that. Y'all yeah. making me hungry, pork chop and pork and pork. Y'all, good luck. Look what I got, y'all. Let me show y'all. Hold on, I'll show y'all. This is gonna be perfect to come tomorrow night. I hope YouTube becomes all on like Facebook and Instagram. That'd be good. What happened? He said, I hope YouTube becomes like Facebook and Instagram all in one. Whoa! Chipping on that membership, bro. You might need and that membership. If we get down there, bro, we might not have no wife's no more, but we have a hell of a fucking time, bro. This is all gonna be crawfish pecans tomorrow, y'all. Crawfish pecans. Y'all wanna know how? Will that you is? make me the boudin king cake, please? Screw that boudin king cake, king cake bullshit. Listen, y'all wanna know what sells good? Crawfish pecans, okay? That's what sells. Good. Right. Take Sarah on a date to the crazy Creole queen. Cajun queen, Ralph. You mean the Creole queen? I think so. The boat? We were offered to go there. Indeed we was. When you going? Indeed we may go soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Would you ever open a restaurant? Man, if I ever get some money, I, I would, man. But damn, I need the money, man. I really like a food truck, but I need about 30000 How I can make a quick 30000 y'all? How can all we're off the bed? Only fans. Get on only fans. I'm being serious, bro. How can we I'm being serious too. Put on an apron. Man, that's bullshit. That ain't gonna work, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna come with that bullshit. I'm just man. playing. <clears throat> Me and Sarah saw one for 20K. That's true. You can make that man, on YouTube. How am I gonna make 20,000, man? They said you can make it on YouTube, but YouTube ain't paying you that. Bro, I just told you I make $54 a day, bro, and I appreciate that, bro. But $54 Only a day. Only fans are quick 30 racks. That's what I just said, George. Man, George, we ain't got them big C's and D's, man. That ain't gonna work for us, man. Chip and Dale's hire and make a house call. Shirley, you hold on now. You going from right, virtual up, to in person. Talk to me on that, Shirley. That, that, that could be something. Talk to me on that. Bro, you have hey. 100K followers on YouTube. I know. But I still make $55 a day and I'm thankful for it. But... It's a long way away from thirty thousand or twenty thousand for a food truck, man. You gotta save up all them fifty five dollars. That's a long saving, bro. I got a family. I can't save that long, man. Damn. You gotta do it now, Ralph. Sell foot. <laughs> <coughs> how can I? How can old Ralph the Baker make twenty grand for a food truck? Who has got some good ideas? Sell seasoning. I do good on that, but that's a lot of seasoning to sell. But I ain't take product and merchandise. You gotta and scale up your keyword search. A tasty recipe channel making four hundred k monthly. You can too. I mean, what? I'm making, They're big though. I make fifty four dollars a day times thirty. And my mathematician right is about sixteen hundred a month. <laughs> Your credit score is trash, so you need cash. <laughs> that's true, bro. That that's accurate. Man, they tell nothing but the truth. That's accurate, bro. I ain't came lie on that. In three hundred and seventy days, that'll be twenty k. Whole oh, year and something, bro. Buy a junkie camper and renovate it. Someone here did that and opened up a Cajun food truck where I'm at. It's raggedy food. I wish y'all could come up here with that for real. <clears throat> you hot right now, Ralph. Half of us subscribers can send a dollar or two. No, we don't no, want y'all money, want y guys. That, but I would like to hustle. Like to be able to do it, to be able to buy a food truck. Then I can take my food truck to different states, right? Then I can meet everybody along the way. That'd be pretty cool. But no, I don't want y'all to give me that to give it to me. I'm just saying, I don't want his one to come up with twenty grand. It's a lot of money. Ralph is the kind of person he likes to earn the money. He he he's, he appreciates you guys donating or when y'all give, that. but he likes to earn it instead of y'all like giving. He wants to feel like you know. I think that's that is a good thing. idea on the on the uh, on the, on the, on like buying something. But I ain't really handy, y'all, like that. Like, bro, I'm sitting here cooking and baking, 
Sarah's re renovating the fucking kitchen. This shit's backwards in this house. Yeah, we are kind of right. So Sarah, y'all can see this is about to be white and gold, and I don't know what else she's done. I don't even know. That's her thing. She's re renovating whatever you call the shit. She does all that. So it is, it's, it's not even that. Well, that's not even saying I should be the woman because I bake and cook. Well, no. It's just different people. You do what you do and I do what I do. Yeah, I agree. No, that is what it is. All right, all right. I'll give you another secret, Rob. Check out Joshua Wiseman channel. He does like Chick-fil-A, a but better. You can use big fast food name recipes, fusion name and integration. It works. Now, I do want to do that. I, there's a lot that I want to do because I think we knock Popeye's out the park. I really do. We knock Popeye's chicken sandwich out the park. My sister's company helps people secure business credit and business funding. I can give her your Instagram. Yeah, sure. Yeah, can't hurt for sure. What's the weather out here? It's like what, 65, maybe 65. I don't now. know. It's been cold for the last week. We've been in the in the mornings like 38, and then in the afternoon be like 48, and then it decided to kind of get warm today. Well, like in the 60s. Sarah looking kind of sexy to my eyebrows on the other My eyebrow looks sexy? <laughs> That's too much to kill. <laughs> She's so curbside at your local park. Do you have Instagram? Ralph does have Instagram. It's Ralph the Baker 101. No, I make, I make good money. <clears throat> it's not that I don't make good money, but God, man, when you got five kids, brown and wife, shit's expensive, man. Yeah, it is. Now, I thought to myself, I said, well, I'll tell you what, I can move out of here and I can move down like on the North Shore. And they got nice houses on the North Shore. Don't get me wrong, I ain't disrespecting them. They got nice houses there, but I, I, I don't know, man. I've been here all my life. Mattery, Cannon, New Orleans, all my life. I can't move over there. Now, this house that we in, 350000 We could be in a house three times as big, 100 times nicer for 150000 200000 on the North Shore. But I don't want to move on the North Shore, man. It's the best thing you can do, but I just ain't trying to do it. We should do a collab. <laughs> Look, we're going to get there, guys. When God sees the time that is fit for Ralph to have a food truck, God's going to work that out. That's when I need a food truck. That's what I'm saying. Our restaurant. Oh, man, I will open a restaurant. You know that? Nah, I'd rather a raggedy food truck. Yeah, I think you need to learn. You need to crawl before you walk. You don't have any restaurant experience. Ooh. Fucking you don't know what it's like to run a restaurant. That's the hardest business in America is a restaurant. You crazy. You don't know how to run one and run a kitchen. You know how to run your own olive kitchen. Salad. Do I make olive salad? I'll show you how to make a good olive salad for sure. I'm down. It's a good video, actually. Hey, love, I got the wrong seasoning sent to me. Ty, if you could Hell. message the website with your order number and your information, then we can take care of that. Sell merch. Ralph has merch up in YouTube, guys. And he has an ebook, a ebook on his website as well. You gotta remember, man, I love to cook. So when you say a food truck is hard, and you're talking to a man that's gonna climb trees for 10 to 15 hours, 10, 12, 13 hours a day, ain't hard to me, man. I live in a kitchen. I'm in the kitchen 16 hours a day. Cook the man some eggs. I'll cook you some eggs, baby. You want some eggs? Oh, no, goddamn. You don't know if I want to do the eggs. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. It's a suggestion. Oh, no. Uh-uh. <laughs> I appreciate that. Have yeah. you ever been to Arkansas? Mm, I don't think we've been to Arkansas. Huh? Mm -hmm. I've been to Texas, and I've been to Florida, Texas, North Carolina, and South Carolina. That's it for all the big. No, I've been, yeah, I've been to Florida. I told you I'm Florida. Yeah, I've been to Florida. Don't do a restaurant. Y'all can do a food truck. That's what I want to do, a food truck. My city is on a bunch of rich people with tons of money to blow. Hit those types of cities and you'll do just fine. Must be nice to be in a city of rich folks. Are you rich with them? I'm just playing with you. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Have you guys been to NY? No, nah, man. I'm trying to definitely get there, y'all. Definitely trying to get there. All right, y'all, look. We better jump off live, man. We had a good time with y'all. We hung out. We had a great time. Remember, the seasoning tonight is off. 40% off on occasion seasoning. Till in the spicy. morning, because I'm going to be passed out and I ain't going to take it off the Yeah, website. we ain't taking it off tonight, so it'll be in 10 in the morning, whatever time we get up. 40% uh, off on occasion in the spicy seasoning. 
Ralph the Baker on Ralph the Baker 101 on Instagram. Y'all hit that up. Besides that, y'all, man, y'all be safe, be blessed, and we appreciate y'all. Y'all just take it easy and uh, just have another drink. You know what I mean? Just relax. It chill. was fun, guys. Yes, we appreciate it. <laughs> go get it in Ralph. <laughs> yeah, right. I gotta go down to the store. Not. Who? You. Shit. We had to set this video to private.